This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. Hey there. It's Free Talk Live. Of course, you can take control of the airwaves here. It is the live Saturday edition of the program, and with you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. And King Mark. We're going to be uh, talking about Bernie Sanders and how conservative Bernie Sanders is seeming these days. Boy, you conservatives out there listening to the show, you guys are getting behind his campaign, right? I mean, did you hear about what he said about immigration? I mean, we talked about immigration a lot of times here on Free Talk Live in the past, and of course, we take a. We'll get called leftists every yeah. time. I mean, <laughs> look, Free Talk Live is on both uh, conservative and liberal stations all across the United States, but it's not uncommon for us to talk about uh, the ideas of liberty con- concerning immigration because we we believe in uh, you know freedom every issue every time. Right, and that means the freedom to uh, travel. And we'll get called leftists uh, by conservatives and. I don't know, just nuts by uh, liberals. How and, many of those conservatives uh, who are calling us leftists would say that they identify with Bernie Sanders? That um, they agree with none. Bernie Sanders? None. Bernie Sanders, the self-proclaimed socialist from Vermont. I guess we don't, people don't know who he is. Uh, he's running for president as a Democrat. He's a self— but he's not currently in the Senate as a Democrat. <laughs> Right. He's in it as, uh, what is it, an independent, independent, independent yeah. who openly runs as a socialist. And now he is coming out and attacking people like us, Mark. He's saying that the idea of open borders, of freedom to travel, is a right-wing idea and that it's the Koch brothers' conspiracy. I've actually got the audio, if you don't believe me, so let's jump right into that. Our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. If you're a conservative listener of the show, how does it feel to be aligned with Bernie Sanders? Here's the audio from Vox. In what you said about being a democratic socialist is a more international view. But I think if you take global poverty that seriously, it leads you to conclusions that in the U.S. are considered out of political bounds. Things like sharply raising the level of immigration we permit, even up to the up to a level of open borders, about sharply increasing open the borders. Of foreign aid. Open no, borders. That's a, that's a Koch brothers proposal. The really? idea of course. I mean that's a right wing proposal which says essentially there is no United States. But it would, anybody it can, would make a lot me. of the global poor richer, wouldn't it? And it'd make everybody in America poor. Then you're doing away with with the concept Isn't of that what forced redistrib- wealth redistribution is about? Taking money away from one group, giving it to another? Well, no, but Bernie Isn't Sanders— Isn't that a socialist concept? <laughs> well, Bernie Sanders would say that's exactly what he wants to do, is force uh, wealth away from one group to another, right? But he so. only wants to do it in a certain polygon on the map. Those are the good people. Yeah. The other people outside of the polygon are bad people. And by that, you mean the United States. Yeah. Nation state. And I don't think there's any country in the world which believes in that. If you believe in a nation state or in a country called the United States or I UK or Denmark or any other country, you have an obligation. I don't in the concept of nation state it hasn't been sold to me. I believe what we currently have is city states, just like we had hundreds of years ago. I believe Washington, D.C. is a city state that rules over a large piece of land known as the United States. And I think that, uh, you know, say London is a large is a city state that rules over a large piece of land. Um, yes, the closer you are in proximity or within certain polygons of the map, you're going to get better benefits. Um, city states have always doled out den- benefits to their allies and um, gone after their enemies, but eh, there's really, you know, Washington D.C. is a city state. It's this United States isn't a nation state. Okay, or Denmark or any other country, you have an obligation, in my view, to do everything we can to help poor people. What right wing people in this country? Except for let them in. Apparently, <laughs> he says you have to. You have an obligation as a nation state right. to Except do everything you can to let them come right. and work hard. And because <laughs> you, so here's a here's a proposal for you. Um, I'll make a proposal. The proposal is that free people should be able to cross the borders of free countries freely, but they should there should be no obligation upon anybody inside that country to finance them in any way, shape, or form. And by that, I mean no welfare, no free medical, no free education, no free nothing. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Boy, uh, you know, Bernie Sanders would really hate your position on that, right? Because yes. he's totally in favor of because government. Because re- his system of forced wealth redistribution would not work. 
in uh, you know if you were trying to take all the wealth in the world in the United States and give it to the world, mm. it would at that point people would rise up and stick pitchforks in and um, for in, in him and, and set him on fire with their torches. Um, what he wants is is to. Uh, you know, make everybody in the United States sort of much more equal, and then he'll work on the rest of the world. What she would love is an open border policy, bring in all kinds of people who work for 2 or $3 an hour. That would be great for them. I don't believe in that. He was saying it was right-wingers who would love the yeah. open border policy. How about you, right-wingers? Is that what you're for? Are you right-wingers out there for open borders? Or are you on the side of Bernie Sanders? <laughs> 855-450-FREE is our toll-free number. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well. Skype username is lrn.fm. Let's continue. I think we have to raise wages in this country. I think we have to do everything that we can to create the millions of jobs. You know what? Youth unemployment in the United States. But screw the rest of those people in the rest of the world, right? Why should they have access to any of those supposed millions of jobs? Because they just happen to be born to some mother who pushed them out of, their, of her womb outside of the arbitrary boundaries of the United States. All of a sudden, those people are lesser people to Bernie Sanders. It's hard to believe, right? Like, this guy's shocked. This, the interviewer here at uh, Vox.com can't even – he was honestly surprised, apparently, by Sanders' position about this. I guess maybe because the interviewer actually does care about poor people around the world. Well, maybe and the interviewer knows that um, you know studies have been done. Openborders.org, you can go take a look, oh, yeah. and they'll say that there'll be a one-time doubling of world GDP. It's not just good for poor people if they can travel, uh, you know, travel freely. It's good for everybody because a doubling of the world GDP is about what the world needs right now. Mm. I mean, look at Europe; it's in a disaster area. The only reason the United States isn't called a disaster area is because Europe looks worse. Let me go on here. Of America today, if you're white, a white kid, high school graduate, 33 percent, a Hispanic, 36 percent, African American, 51 percent. You think we should open the borders and bring in a lot of low wage workers? No, we should get rid of the minimum wage. The minimum wage was intended not to be a living wage, as you equate it with Mr. Sanders, Senator Sanders. The the minimum wage was intended to be a wage at which young people went in. The, the, the job market. That's why young people don't have jobs is because the labor market contracted and because of the minimum wage, they were priced out. I, I'm working at the uh, Cheshire Fair all week this week. This is the second to last day today. I'm doing a Bitcoin outreach booth. And right next to the booth are the John Birch Society people. Yeah, they're always fun. Uh, the John Birch guys, you know, they're right on a lot of things. About 80% of the time. Yeah, yeah. They're, you know, they're pretty liberty-friendly on a number of issues. But on the immigration issue, no, not so no, friendly no, no. at all. It's the uh, big issues that really um, that yeah. I disagree with, uh, you know, the hard hardline Republicans on. Um, you know, often war, right? Like, I, th I believe first we need to stop killing people, and then we can talk about human freedom after that. And, you know, they're oftentimes not on the same page with me. So I did talk to them. I actually wanted to talk to them about this for a while, but I, I prefer to spend my time on the people at the fair. But when there was people a lull. People who could be convinced of yeah. something. When, the, when there was a lull. Well, I don't know, Mark. I think people can change their minds about issues. I know I've changed my mind about this issue. I've changed my mind on issues uh, too, but when you start, when somebody takes the time to buy a booth at the fair yeah. to promote a particular um, you know, line of thinking, the That's chances true. of them being convinced on that issue are pretty Unlikely. Maybe so, but not everybody working the booth has paid for the booth necessarily. Also, you can take a look at somebody's age mm -hmm. and kind of decide how likely they are to be convinced on something. Yeah, I just wanted to let them know that the Bernie Sanders supporters and them were on the same side on that uh, on that issue. <laughs> and that's kind of the whole point of what we're doing here tonight is say, hey, surprise, guess what? Those of you who want to control the borders, who want to see yep. you know a crackdown and rules and border patrol, well, you're on board with Bernie Sanders. How's that feel? Toll-free number is 855-450. Who benefits more? than the labor wing of the Democratic Party from border controls. Really, who benefits more than pro-labor Democrats uh, on this and, issue? And what you're saying there is the, the labor wing are a bunch of union people, right? So they are benefiting by— Or they by, wish they were, yeah. Well, they're, you know, they're benefiting by—if uh, they are in the unions, they driving, are benefiting by keeping people out of the marketplace. Driving and, down supply in the area of yeah. labor. If you drive down supply through force, then you're going to drive up price. Of course, that's exactly what we all want, higher prices in labor. That way everything costs more. Doesn't make any sense. That's why jobs have been exported from this country. Wages are too high. All right, we're going to come back. You can share your thoughts. There's a little bit more of what old Bernie has to say here. 855 450 free. Bernie Sanders says keep the borders locked down, crack down on uh, immigration. That's what it's sounding like here. How does that make you feel? 855 450 free. 
That's 855-450-3733. Did you know you were a socialist? Apparently, if you agree with Bernie Sanders on this, you just might be. It's Free Talk Live. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now, don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing. To be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You think we're going to find uh, soon a new group being created? Bernie Sanders, or excuse me, uh, Conservatives for Bernie Sanders? Is that going to happen soon? Because it sounds like they're on the same team from what old Bernie Sanders said in a recent interview with Vox.com about immigration. He seems like he's totally on board with a lot of these people that call this show saying they want to crack down and that they don't want to allow anybody in here and uh, protectionism, protectionism. 
You can share your thoughts with us, 855-450-FREE. We've got more of Bernie to share with you. He's got about another minute or so here of commentary. And then Vox.com has some excellent points as to why he is totally wrong. And if you actually want to help the poor, then letting them come to the United States is a darn fine idea. And that's what you know all the evidence actually shows. 855-450-FREE, Bitcoinist.net. It's the ultimate resource for Bitcoin industry news, reviews, education, and the latest in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Bitcoinist is the prime online destination for information about the Bitcoin and digital currency industry. Their website integrates a community forum, breaking Bitcoin and digital currency news. They also aim to cover fintech and blockchain tech news as well. Bitcoinist has very sophisticated Bitcoin network statistics, solid beginner's guide to Bitcoin, and more. The Bitcoinist platform serves the need of everyone looking to keep up with Bitcoin and digital currencies. From beginners to experts... So wherever you're at in the Bitcoin world, go check out Bitcoinist.net. That's Bitcoinist.net. Ian and Mark here continuing 855-450. We're going to play a little bit more of the audio here, and then if you want to comment, you can join us here also via Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. This is Bernie Sanders in an interview with Vox.com revealing that he thinks that open borders is a right-wing proposal. 36% African-American, 51%. You think we should open the borders and bring in a lot of low-wage workers? Or do you think maybe we should try to get jobs for those kids? So I think from a moral responsibility, we've got to do work with the rest of the industrialized world to, uh, to address the problems of international poverty. But you don't do that by making people in this country even poorer. So then what are the responsibilities we have? Before you go on, the idea that allowing more people to come here would make people poorer is absolutely ridiculous. Everybody that comes here that's looking to make a better life for themselves, they're not getting if they're not getting on welfare or whatever and welfare is a whole other issue. But people that are coming here to make a better life for themselves are bringing their services to this country. They're bringing their entrepreneurial spirit. Most immigrants immigrants are more likely to be entrepreneurs than American-born people. They're bringing in a spirit of you know interest in, in success to come here. They're bringing a set of skills, and they're also bringing a set of you know they're bringing demand. They need services. They right. need housing. Every they one need, of them is going to dr- drive around in a vehicle, live right. in a house, and uh, you know entertainment. They need entertainment too. You know they need everything that you they. they want everything that you want they're human beings and so they add to our economy let's go to your calls and thoughts we'll uh we'll let bernie talk here a little bit more in a moment josh is on the line in panama city listening to wyoo fm hello josh hey how you doing hey welcome um, yeah go ahead. i do think we do need to crack down on immigration and not as in everybody thinks you know just don't let anybody in because this country is found on immigration what we need to do is crack down on the illegal immigration. We need to give the people that are already here an option to become a legal citizen, legally, do the right way. And if not, after a grace period, just, you know, they, they leave. I mean, give them the option to. And if they don't want to take the effort to become a citizen, then, you know, that's their own problem. But I'm pretty sure all of them are going to want to uh, be able to work, right? I mean, it's not necess- they may not necessarily exactly. want to be a citizen. They may want to work here and then return home at some point. But um, I think that you know what, what you're talking about is sort of granting uh, legal identity to, uh, to people. And I think that to some extent that's what's going to have to happen. The difficulty is, is when you attempt to limit immigration, obviously the marketplace and labor isn't happy or wasn't happy at one point with the amount of uh, the, the limitation, right? Like you don't know the right amount of um, immigration. I don't know the right amount of immigration. And certainly a government bureaucracy doesn't know the right amount of people to let in. So we have oh, a no, but that's the thing. I don't think we should limit immigration. I think we should crack down on illegal immigration. Like but that's kind of the option, look, the reason have we have illegal immigration. The reason we have illegal immigration is because immigration is limited. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know, I have friends of mine that have immigrated here fully. I mean, it's yep. a process. We need to we need to streamline and fine tune that process to make it easier. A lot of people are worried about. Immigrants coming here and getting on welfare. Well, I think it's a big problem. Have a policy for the first, you know, for the first year or two. If you're an illegal immigrant, you cannot qualify for it until you've been here for so long and yeah, proven I'm- that you've actually tried to work, tried to get a job, and were basically unsuccessful. 
I mean, you, know, you could even take that a step further. Many people here. You could just go ahead yeah. and say that, look, um, you're, we're allowing this certain class of immigration. We're going to give you a blue card. And with that blue card, you will not be eligible for any kinds of uh, particular government uh, you know, benefits or whatever they are, but you can come here and work hard and do all those kind of things. I think a lot of people would want the blue card. Hey, Josh, did I really just hear you say, I just want to make sure I didn't mishear you, did you really just say there's too many people in the United States? What? No. Okay, good. I'm glad you I I thought. Say there's too many, I said we have too many illegal immigrants. Oh, okay. And you wanted to crack down. You know, now, so in order to crack, crack down, down on illegal immigration. Right. And you know what that means, right? Yeah, um, deporting people. No, no, no. no. You have to find them first in order to deport them. So are you yeah, prepared? Yeah, that's, that's I'm just, I'm just curious, problem. Josh. Are you prepared for checkpoints in your city? Um, I mean, it doesn't even have to be checkpoints i mean we basically have checkpoints when how about house to house around. searches yeah that ain't happening no Sorry. But why not a, this is here, a crackdown how about a, I, I got a great idea let's just give a big pile of paperwork to all the small businesses out there that they have to fill out and we don't pay them for it we just give them a bunch of government work to do and uh then we'll be able to ferret out the uh the illegal immigrants that how's way. that sound <laughs> That's, That's the problem why are you laughing with this is a crackdown down on down. illegal immigration right uh, you're not serious obviously about this no, I am serious. No, you're not. You don't. You don't want to accept what a crackdown a looks like. I understand. How about how about this? How about instead of the uh, the pile of paperwork, they just have a few pieces of paper they have to fill out, and then every now and then the immigration department comes in and raids businesses and checks uh, IDs of all the workers and raids through the files. How about that? They already do that. Exactly, they already do that. How do you feel about that? And it obviously doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nothing works. They're not doing it properly. Oh. Well, the government doesn't do things properly. The world where the government does things properly doesn't exist on planet Earth. <laughs> yeah, even if your no, buddies get in charge, Josh, even if you were to be put in charge yeah, of the we system. We make you immigration czar, you can't make it work. Yeah, because it's bureaucracy and government fails no matter who, no matter what fool is in charge of it. I'm not saying you're a fool. I'm just saying, you know, government guys are failures yeah. at these uh, these things. Oh, and they are. Right. They are. But there's there's no excuse to have, you know, we have all these illegal immigrants are here. Yeah, they're getting jobs. They're making money. But they're not having to pay taxes. because Great. Not, we should be celebrating them. Here. You should be congratulating them for not paying taxes. You, they should be helping you figure out how to not pay taxes because screw the state. Screw the federal government. They don't deserve the tax money. Thanks for the call, Josh. I appreciate it. Uh, our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I understand you're jealous of the so-called illegal immigrants for not paying taxes. Wouldn't you prefer to not pay taxes? Who wants to pay taxes to support this awful government? It's still that that's a bugbear. Um that doesn't make any sense. The fact is illegal immigrants often pay lots more taxes and receive no services. Well, that's many times true. they get a fake um social security card and uh pay taxes that way and they get no services at all. Share your thoughts here at 855 450 free. This is Free Talk Live's Live Saturday show. Measles is activating on a mass scale now due to the vaccines and iron poisoning. All symptoms, disease and deaths are due to measles and iron, not just rash and flu-like symptoms, as the officials claim. Measles requires a host with iron to replicate. Iron intake is at an unprecedented level. Deaths and hospitalizations are set to soar now in 2015. This is the extermination plan, people. For further information, go to unveilingthem.com. U-N-V-E-I-L-I-N-G them.com. Unveilingthem.com. Now, a twice as nice twin kit special offer from Complete H2O Minerals for all GCN listeners. Get a Complete H2O Minerals twin kit with 33 different minerals, vitamins, and amino acids all in a liquid form. Enough for two people for one month. Regular price $89.95, but now Complete H2O Minerals is offering the twin kit for $69.95. And all GCN listeners receive a bonus 16-ounce bottle of Ionic Silver absolutely free with free shipping. A $120 total value. Hurry, limited time offer. Call 803-794-4767 or click CompleteH2OMinerals.com. If you're looking for work, it's a process of elimination, and you're trying not to be eliminated. So here's a tip for making the cut, and this might seem subtle, but to the person interviewing you, it's not. There is a world of difference between applicants who convey, I need a job, and those who simply ooze, I want 
to work, especially in these lean times when many you're competing with will seem desperate in I'll take anything mode. If you convey specific interest in this job at this company, you will be conspicuous. Thus, the value of going to school on the company you're applying to before the interview. With money and attention so tight now, effective communication skills have never been more important. For more tips for job seekers and everyone else, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine Freedom Scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. Is it ever appropriate to use violence to oppose the state? I can't say I would blame somebody for wanting to meet the SS at the front door with the clubs and the guns or whatever they could to defend their family. I wouldn't blame them. Gandhi went to jail. What if he had met the uh, English at the door with shotguns instead of going to jail? I don't want to talk about this anymore because, you know, it's just madness. I don't need to be playing these scenarios out where what am I going to do if this happens? What am I going to do if that happens. I'm it's gonna, not a good mindset. I'm going to get the chainsaw out and cut a couple of trees across the driveway, and I'm going to sit out there with a 50 cow <laughs> bull and I'm going to pick them off. I'm going to pick them off. You know, It'll drive crazy, you crazy nuts. I mean, you're going to die from high blood pressure yeah. and a lot of shiny guns. I'm a ticking time bomb waiting to go off, coppers. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Wolverine! Brrr. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I've been out at the Cheshire County Fair uh, for the last several days, and tomorrow's going to be the last day. We've been doing Bitcoin outreach. And, of course, uh, some people are interested in getting Bitcoin, and they've been asking, well, you know, what's what's the way to go about doing that? And there are a bunch of different options. Expresscoin.com is the best choice for getting your cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Litecoin, or even Dogecoin. It's fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. If you're in the U.S. or Canada, they can help you out. You can get cryptocurrencies with money order or check. Very simple process. You can even do it from your smartphone with their app. Just go to ExpressCoin.com to get started. Use coupon code FTL, and you'll get up to $40 worth of cryptocurrency with no fee at all. Imagine transferring currencies and paying no fee. That's what you can do with code FTL, like Free Talk Live, at ExpressCoin.com. As we continue here, we're talking about Bernie Sanders' position on immigration, which seems to mirror the position of a lot of the people who call this show claiming to be conservatives and who seem to also be about supposedly cracking down on immigration. Even though the last guy we just talked to, Mark, when we started to describe what a crackdown on so-called illegal immigration would look like, Dude didn't really want any of that to happen. He didn't really like the idea of house-to-house searches, checkpoints everywhere, businesses being raided, and burdensome paperwork. People are much more interested in the uh, the force of the government being pointed away from them than they are for it being pointed at them. The real difficulty with the government is, is that when you advocate for it to be pointed at other people, they can then advocate for it to be pointed at you. Mm, that's true. The best advocation when it comes to the force of government is that we minimize it. I'd like to do away with it. Let's talk to you. Maybe we'll get Bernie's uh, thoughts in here for a moment in a little bit. But first, Ryan is on the line in Montana. 
Ryan, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark, live Saturday night. Go ahead. Ryan in Montana, going once. Ryan in Montana. Maybe we're having some technical difficulties behind the board there at the network studios. We'll see if we can grab Ryan. And in the meantime, we'll try for JD. He's on the road. JD, are you with us? Yeah. All right, we got you. Go ahead. Yeah, this immigration thing and all this, I think people need to get out of the city and get out of the office a while. I'm a cross-country truck driver, and I went from north to south, east to west. I will to tell you something. This is Judeo-Christian nation. That's what we were founded on, on the laws of Judeo-Christian. Weren't there a bunch now, of deists that founded this country? <laughs> we are all immigrants except for the Native Americans. There's no doubt about that. Now, what I want to say is this. The people from Mexico are our neighbors. They're not like the people from other countries and even from the countries that, you know, the terrorists that come from other countries. They're our neighbors. Now, I used to go down to South Texas and ride the fields and, you know, load cantaloupes and truck live loads. There were whole families out there, 30 to 40 of them. They were going circles, and that'd be little children like about three foot high. They would be shorter than the cantaloupe bags that they put the cantaloupes in. <laughs> And they would come around and, you know, put the cantaloupes in the truck. And they live like, you know, 20, 30 people in these migrant housing things. Mm-hmm. Now, me and my wife, you know, uh, used to go around our neighborhood, and I'd go down there, and I had to go down there to pick up watermelon, cantaloupes, and produce, things like that. Now, I would take black trash bags and put all kind of clothes in it from the neighbors and community. On top of that, I would put, you know, candies and toys and things for these little children. They're our neighbors. When they would open it up, all you would see was teeth. They would smile. They are our neighbors. There doesn't need to be an immigration thing for Mexico. You need to do away with it. Interesting. So let me see if I'm following you. What you're saying is let folks in from Mexico but not elsewhere? Well, we want them in from Canada, don't we? Well, why not let people in from everywhere? They got money, right? No. They're our neighbors. Other people's not our neighbors. We got they're just people, to the south, though. To the north. Just because they're just because they're pro, you know have It'd proximity. It'd be a huge step forward. No, I'm with you, We're man. Look, please. People come in without like we can cross the border going into Mexico just for the passport. Just go on in, do a shopping, do whatever. Can you just quite, quick up. quick question, JD? Uh, in Canada, yeah. you can actually cross in with just a driver's license. Can you do the same thing in Mexico? You should be able to do the same thing. I think you can. I've heard that you can. I'm just wondering if you've ever tried it. Just no, sh- I, I, every time I had to show my passport, every mm. time I went down to Mexico, you know, across the country or, you know, in a place like that, I had to show my passport. Because we knew you a know? guy who called uh, the show previously, and he swore he— I'm talking he, about he, coming back in, you know, coming back in across— No, I'm talking about going uh, into Mexico. Into Mexico, we don't have to show anything. Exactly, exactly. I went right across. Now, coming back across on the American side, you got to show your passport, your birth certificate— you know, what you dream last night, yeah. things like that. Which, you know, which experience joke. feels more free? The experience going into Mexico. Exactly. It shouldn't be that way, right? It should be just the same experience coming back in here. So I'm with you, man. They should be able to come in just like Yeah, I'm totally with, I'm told you, totally with you on that, J.D. I just, yeah. just don't understand why you don't want other people around the world to be able to come here, too, besides folks from Mexico and Canada. We're not your neighbors, just like talking about your neighbors. you got people coming... You know, from Did you say town. they're naughty or they're not, not our neighbors? Not your neighbors. No, they're our neighbors. Right, but, but, neighbors. but the other people are not, so therefore they should not be treated with the same level of respect? They should show. They should show where they're coming from, from any country they're coming from. There's not a border state with America. J.D., thanks for the call tonight, man. I appreciate yeah, hearing from you. I mean, obviously I'm going to disagree with you, but I appreciate it. The uh, toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I, I've never heard that one before. I mean, it's, it's certainly well, a new one to it's, me. It's a, it's a takeoff on um, the, the, not, the concept that uh, there are historical migration patterns around the southern border. Um, you know, that, that at one point were based on agriculture, another point based on, you know, just sort of the seasons when it was a good time to get food in different places. And essentially the border of the United States has changed that. Um, people that, you know, in... Uh, People genetically, these um, they're not the same people necessarily, but there are some people still alive that, uh, you know, there was there was a time in U.S. history in the 60s when it was really easy for 
migrant workers to come over here, do some work, and then go back home. And that's what they did. They didn't stay. The reason they stay now is because of the border. Because it is harder to get a, um, to get back and forth across. Yeah, sure. If you can make it in once, you want to stick around, right? You might as well at that point. Let's continue. 855 450 free is our toll free number. Let's go to Harry. He's calling from Anniston, Alabama, listening to WDNG. Hello, Harry. Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome. Go hey, ahead. Can you do me one favor? Can you do me a favor? From now on, say 855 450. I thought your number was 455, and it's not. Anywho. Oh, I'm sorry. Go. Sometimes we do spell it out, so I apologize if I haven't done that enough tonight. That's so I want to speak to young Josh. The problem is not immigration. Our biggest problem is disability. It's killing us. People who never work, they're sucking us dry. And I did 22 years in military. I don't want to look back into that crap. It's making a point here. And VA benefits, there's so much fraud in that, it, it'll make you sick. I saw it firsthand. I know three people right now, I, every time I see them, I won't even talk to them. Because they're they're frauding the system. You bet your bucks, buddy. Now I, mean, I, I shouldn't be so angry, but I've been told that um, we can handle the word "butt" here on uh, Free Talk Live. <laughs> I've been told that the uh, the the fraud inside the welfare system, and I look at you know these government benefits and government entitled, entitlement groups pretty similarly. That the fraud inside is is one percent, maybe two percent. That it's incredibly low. That there's not very much fraud. Uh, I, I have. To- with you, man. I, oh, I'm not. I'm not making right the claim. <laughs> you see, the okay. other the other so, part of this is what I found well, is, know, is that it's probably not re- it's probably not reported. Like you know, there's probably you know, if everybody who smokes marijuana illegally was arrested, my God, we, yeah. the jails would be so full. Be you build a so fence around the United States and then be, open one big prison. Um, <laughs> The uh, but when you find out like privatized in in the insurance industry, they say that fraud inside the insurance industry is twenty five percent. Now, what it seems more likely to me is that the government bureaucrats are bad at counting fraud. They're bad at catching it. I mean, <laughs> for everybody, he's he knows three guys who are getting away with it. So you only know if there's fraud happening when you catch it happening, right? And then you can turn it into a statistic. Harry, good well, call. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, go ahead with let question. Me ask you a question. If someone's 100% disabled, could they drive a five-speed sports car that's like two feet off the ground? Yes or no? Uh, if they're 100% in, in world, disabled, I wouldn't think they'd be able to get into the sports car very easily. It's like, say, 80%. Could they change the tire on a big truck? <laughs> Probably no, not. Anyway, hey, Harry, thanks. You made your point. Market. I appreciate hearing from you tonight. 855-450 free. More coming up. This message is for home intruders, the cowards who break into people's homes to steal their hard-earned property. Criminals who shatter lives and rob people of their privacy and security. Listen very carefully. We're the home security experts at LiveWatch, and we're taking you down. Because we're letting everyone try our newest home security system for one full year in their home. To take advantage of this amazing offer, call now, 1-800-670-9259. LiveWatch has been helping protect homes for years, and we've learned the secrets that intruders like you don't want people to know. Criminals, it's time for you to be afraid, because every person who calls will be protected against cowards like you. To the criminals listening, we're taking you down. To those who want to help protect their homes, call the security experts to try the LiveWatch security system. There are no long-term contracts, and if you're not completely satisfied, you can cancel at any time. Try LiveWatch now by calling 1-800-670-9259. That's 1-800-670-9259. There are hundreds of silver products on the market today, but there's nothing like the astonishing health benefits of the multi-patented One Silver Solution. Boost your immune system at a great price with our Silver Solution Liquid, starting at $12.95 a bottle, now available in regular and extra strength. That's half the price of the leading competitors. Call 844-USE-SILVER for your free catalog or go to onesilversolution.com, onesilversolution.com. There is only one silver solution. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state in back taxes, you know they'll never stop coming after you. With bank levies, wage garnishments, they'll even seize your home or business. The good news? A government program for tax debt forgiveness. It's called the Fresh Start Initiative. I'm Paul Sibley. With U.S. Tax Shield, we can help navigate the new laws, get you protected, and resolve your tax issues permanently. Call the experts at U.S. Tax Shield now for your free consultation and get a guaranteed quote to resolve your case. Call 800-436-6451. That's 800-436-6451. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm I'm, I'm comfortable here, actually. 
Whoa, 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 hey, 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 who do you think you are? Excuse me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is, you ain't gonna make it. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from Because you're scared of property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Yeah! Welcome back to Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Surprise, surprise! Self-proclaimed socialist Bernie Sanders is taking the position that many of our callers to this show would probably call themselves conservatives. He's been taking the same position on immigration, meaning that Bernie Sanders is saying that open immigration is a terrible idea. In fact, he's saying it's a uh, he's saying it's a Coke it's a right-wing thing conspiracy. The Coke brothers, these right alleged right-wingers. Uh, that it's all a right-wing conspiracy to open the borders. And so how do you feel about that is kind of the general question, but you're welcome to comment on anything here, of course. It is Free Talk Live, and it's always open phones at 855-450-FREE. And also Skype in. Username here is lrn.fm as we continue. And we'll start this hour, this portion of the hour with Dustin in Greenville, Indiana. Hey, Dustin. Hi, guys. How are you tonight? Good. Go ahead, sir. Oh, uh, well, you know, I just wanted to, uh, actually, I felt like I needed to dis- dispute some things that you guys said about, you know, does that feel like freedom is one of the things I heard, you know, about people freely crossing the border, you know, like they were into other countries. Yeah. And, um, you know, I felt, I felt the fact that, you know, we, we should feel like a free country, yes, within our own rights. Because those were that were given to us by God, and that you think God gave us the United States. I do personally. Do you but think God gave us Mexico? Do you think God gave the Mexico Mexican Mexico to Mexicans? Yes, He and did. Do you That's think true. God put a big border apparatus in between them? No, because there's not one there. <laughs> yes, there is. There, <laughs> there is a huge border apparatus. As a matter of fact, within a hundred miles of that border and within the Canadian border too, you can expect random stops to find out whether you're a citizen. Yes, sir, and that's true because you did God be do a that too? The, well, no, you don't have to be a citizen of those countries. No, because the thing is, is if you're a criminal, you should not be allowed to travel those borders if you're going to create crime in those places well wait a yeah, second Donald i'm a Trump i'm a convicted felon right. wait a second i'm a convicted felon i've been to probably 15 or 20 been countries very close to that my friend what's that and that's that's totally fine i said i've been very close to that in my okay. life as well you know i was i was almost convicted of a felony myself so then but what are you saying are you saying though that mark my co-host here the convicted felon that he should not be able to travel 
Why do you want to keep the convicted felons he, in the United if States? He, if he is on the radio right now in America, obviously he has turned a new leaf. Then he is able to get a job with a true company. He is not stealing from that company. He doesn't he have is a not job. hurting people every day. He, he owns his own business. He doesn't have a job. He's a business owner. Yeah, I just travel for um, well, pleasure. Then that's a job, my friend. It's so what you're saying is he, felons. He, just I want to clarify, Dustin. I just don't. I don't want to misunderstand no, you. I don't want to call it a felon. I call it a criminal. Whenever it comes down to a criminal, you don't have to be a felon to be a criminal. Okay. All right. So criminals be, uh, shouldn't be able to travel a, unless they make a better life for themselves. They they should not if they can make a better life for themselves they have to prove themselves first. So that he should go to a pa- uh, some sort of panel. You need to follow the laws, my friend. Just to, I want to you clarify, to the Mark. Well, hold hold on, slow down, Dustin. I know you're really excited here. I just want to have a conversation and I want to clarify what you're saying. So what you're saying is Mark, who has been out of prison since the late 1990s. Uh, should have yes, to go sir. in front of some sort of panel to prove that he's a better person, and then no, he should be allowed no to travel. Here. That is, he should prove himself to his to his local people. It is not a, the federal government is bloated. Now, okay. don't get me wrong; if the government has, has absolved him of what he's done, he's got it. They didn't know. No, he's still got a record. Yeah, they're always they're going to have a record until you pay him a bunch of no, money. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's absolved. He's done. He's done. He's able to own a business. He's got rights. So are you uh, saying that only convicted felons. South American and Central Americans that um, have uh, completed all of their prison time, they should be able to cross borders? You have to ask me that question again. I might not be educated on that. Tell okay. me one more time. I'm just trying to figure out whether um, Central Americans and South Americans who have, uh, and you know, people around the world who have completed whatever uh, sentences their governments have placed upon them for whatever crimes they may have committed, they should be able to cross borders? And that should be fine? That is up to that government, and they need to prove themselves to their government before they are. Do you uh, think able their governments are they... any less bloated and ridiculous than ours? No, I do not. There you go. But You're asking that... people to beseech government bureaucrats for help, and they don't give help without big paychecks. Thanks, Dustin, for your You're call tonight, right. man. I appreciate hearing from you. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. The one country that I know that I can't go to is Canada. By the way, I live the closest to that of foreign countries. I'm, you know, maybe mm-hmm. two hours, three hours from Canada. Now, I'd love to go spend some money in Montreal here in the summer. I don't want to go in the winter, thanks. Um, but I, I'd love to do that, but I can't because Canada won't me let neither. me in. Canada says that they will absolve me that for $1,000. They can mm-hmm. uh, let me in. Basically, I'll you know they'll fill out some paperwork and stuff like that. But why would I want to pay a thousand dollars to go into a country to pay more money? Like this is the stupidity of this particular uh, thing that they've got going on here. They're not going to let me in because I had a conviction in 1988. Apparently not. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. We got Dustin. He's in Indy, listening to WIBC FM. Hey, Dustin. Hey guys, what's going on? Well, we're doing a radio show. Go ahead with your thoughts. Good. Um, well, my point was, why can't we just secure the border with the National Guard? I mean, we got them all just sitting around doing nothing, basically. I mean, they have jobs. You know, the the National Guard is people I mean, with jobs. Why, why can't we... uh, okay, well, Here, why I'll can't answer we that question. Why can't you keep drugs out of prison? I mean, nothing's going to be 100% secure. Yeah, you're going to have some, some cracks. But so how much more uh, – there's all kinds of drugs in prison. Uh, how mu- how many more Border Patrol are necessary in order to, uh, to you know, satisfy you? But, well, actually, we can just put drones with, with FLIR, and we can secure that border right up. I mean – that sounds like a hellish police, uh, police state landscape. Thank you, Dustin, for your call. I wonder if I can go hiking down there by the border without getting uh getting shot <laughs> and have a drone drop a bomb on you. Fleer, he said fleer cameras and uh fleer oh, okay. cameras would be Don't the- worry, someone will suggest shooting and bombs once they get the drones with cameras up. Yeah. Then the next step will be, well, you know, now that we got all those drones down there, why aren't they armed? You know, we can't be having these criminals coming in here. Shoot on sight. I, if I, it's brown, take it down. <laughs> I think that I think that it's pretty clear that um, you know that more government bureaucracy and and things around the border are going to minimize, to, you know, to some extent minimize. The more things you put out there, the more minimization you'll see in illegal, illegal immigration. However, 
what you have to ask is right, sort of, who wants to come to a hellish police state? Right, who wants that? The, what are the what are the results for the American citizens? Because I'm sure that the people in East Germany were told we're putting up this wall to keep out those evil capitalists, <laughs> right? And I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not so, uh, you know, off the wall that I'm really thinking the United States is going to turn into one giant prison, a la Escape mm-hmm. from New York. But you know. I've seen the uh, last couple of decades the way things are going, and the United States is moving down, not up, on the world freedom charts. You don't hear anybody say, it's a free country anymore, because they're, they know it's not. Yeah, they know. <laughs> they know it's not. Let's continue. Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. We'll go next to Brian. He's in Des Moines. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Brian. Hey. Um, I think it was probably 12 years ago. I went to Mexico, and all I used was my driver's license to get back in. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's true that you can... I didn't have to have a passport. How, whoa, whoa, how, how many years ago was this? 12. About 12 years All ago. All right, so what they did, they in I think it was 2009, uh, they did supposedly make a requirement that you have a passport, but it's not really true. So they're going to hassle you. If you go now to Canada right. or Mexico, you can enter Canada or Mexico, from my understanding... Uh, in my experience in Canada, at least, you can enter Canada and Mexico with a driver's license. And then when you come back with just the driver's license, the U.S. Border Patrol will de- probably detain you and give you a hard time and lecture you. Uh, but then they'll eventually. Oh, American. Right. They'll eventually let you and, back in after a bunch of questions and, and hassles. So it's not right, as easy right. now as it was 12 years ago. So, so it's even less free here as a result. So the, the other thing, too, that I'm you know thinking to myself. Illegal immigrants stuck in our government for money. I would I would probably bet my life on it that there's more lazy Americans stuck in the government than there are illegal immigrants. I, absolutely. Well, certainly the numbers are um, because higher. Because they don't want the government to know they're here. I'm sorry, the people the sucking immigrants the, um, don't want it. The Americans? The oh, I see what you're saying. I get it now. Don't want the government to know they're here. So exactly. I'll guarantee if you took all the illegal, illegal immigrants and rounded them up and all the Americans, you'll find out that there's more lazy Americans sucking our government dry. Oh, yeah. It's probably by a factor else. of 100, if not more so. It's I, immigrants that wanted to build oh, a better yeah. life for themselves that built this country. Hey, yeah. Brian, great call. I, I know a lady. Yep. I know a lady that lives down the street from me. That has not worked a day in her life, and she has lived on welfare her whole and life. And she's lived here her whole life, too. Thanks for the call, Brian. I appreciate it. Great call. 855-450 free. We got hour number two coming up. Hey, guys, I'm Tim Baker. I'm Daniel Brown. And I'm Sean Stewart. And we are the You, Me, and BTC podcast. Cryptocurrency decrypted. Us three chumps love to talk too much, and for some reason other people seem to enjoy it. That's why we started You, Me, and BTC, which, which is your Bitcoin and Liberty podcast. Find our show at youmeandbtc.com every Thursday. We also post Bitcoin-related reviews, opinion articles, and much more. Subscribe, like, and follow at youmeandbtc.com. How fast are Allegra gel caps? It's raking the leaves and loving it fast. How strong are Allegra gel caps? I'm running with my favorite workout partner, Strong. Non-drowsy Allegra gel caps give you noticeable relief of your toughest allergy symptoms. It starts working in just one hour, two times faster than Claritin's first dose, and stays strong for 24 hours. It's saying yes to pick up football with the guys, Strong. Allegra gel caps. Nothing's faster, nothing's stronger. Among OTC oral antihistamines, use only as directed. Visit Allegra.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross has been sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Now, an appeal is Ross's only chance, and he needs your support. Please visit FreeRoss.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Visit FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. 
From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, August 1st, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.79 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,095 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $282. Antiwar.com reports while Turkey and the Kurdish PKK have been fighting an on-again, off-again war for some 30 years, both sides have been enjoying a period of relative calm two years into a ceasefire. That ceasefire ended Friday with Turkish airstrikes against the PKK in Iraq and has given way to more violence. The PKK is presenting this as a Turkish declaration of war and with Turkey launching several attacks in the week to follow, it's hard to disagree. President Erdogan has similarly dismissed the idea of the peace process resuming, saying the talks were impossible. So PKK forces, many of whom are in northern Iraq, are bracing for more strikes, with a new round of serious unrest in the Kurdish areas around southeast Turkey, saying they view Turkey's new attacks as a betrayal against the Kurds in general. The PKK isn't simply waiting for Turkish strikes, either with PKK forces attacking a Turkish battalion in Sernak province, killing at least three soldiers. One of the PKK fighters was also reported killed in the fighting, and Turkish forces are conducting searches in the surrounding area trying to locate the rest. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports California Governor Jerry Brown on Friday declared a state of emergency as dangerously dry conditions and strong winds fuel the flames of a wildfire that so far burned nearly 20,000 acres in the Napa Valley. The Rocky Fire grew to 18,000 acres on Friday but is only about 5% contained. Friday morning, officials issued a mandatory evacuation for residents in Jerusalem Valley, which lies about 100 miles north of San Francisco. So far, nearly 700 residents have fled their homes since the fire started on Wednesday, spreading quickly because of wind gust and dehydrated vegetation amid the state's ongoing severe drought. Brown said in a statement Friday, California's severe drought and extreme weather have turned much of the state into a tinderbox. I declared a state of emergency based on the extreme drought that has persisted in the state for four years. Brown noted in the state of emergency declaration, by virtue of the number of fires burning simultaneously, the state's resources have been significantly committed such that the state will seek the assistance and resources of other states as necessary. The state of emergency will allow resources to be deployed to the fire-ravaged areas quicker and permit the assistance of the National Guard if officials need it. The Rocky Fire has so far destroyed three structures and several buildings, according to officials. More than 8,000 firefighters are working to extinguish the 18 different wildfires across California, and firefighters are worried that thunderstorms forecast for the weekend could ignite even more fires. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numeracy supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. Reuters reports the governor's chief of staff said on Friday that Puerto Rico will miss a payment on debt due August 1st, an event that will be considered a default by investors as the Commonwealth lurches toward what could be one of the largest U.S. municipal debt restructurings in history. The missed payment will mark the first default by the Commonwealth and shows the depth of the island's economic and cash flow problems. Puerto Rico Governor Alejandro Garcia Padilla shocked investors in June when he said the island's debt totaled $72 billion was unpayable and required restructuring. According to a 2014 bond offering statement, Puerto Rico has never defaulted on the payment of principal or interest of debt. The island faces a number of debt payments due August 1st, but had signaled in recent weeks that it may miss the PFC payment. This non-payment would be the most notable since Detroit, which had about $8 billion of bonds, defaulted on $1.45 billion of insured pension bonds before it filed for bankruptcy in 2013. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com.
Sources close to area man Michael Huesmer confirmed this week the unmotivated 29-year-old loser continues to waste his time living a contented life in his hometown near his closest friends and family members and has no intention of leaving. Former classmates told reporters the directionless bum has no ambition to leave his close-knit community for an expensive and stressful life in a big city and is apparently satisfied with remaining a pitiful nobody for the remainder of his unassuming existence. While most of us with dreams got ourselves dingy apartments and soul-crushing jobs in the city, years ago, Michael just stayed behind, happy to live his humdrum existence of regular contact with his parents in a town of people who express genuine appreciation for his presence. Honestly, it's pathetic. In the time it took you to watch this video, you could have read one of Shakespeare's sonnets, listened to an etude by Chopin, or taken in one of the masterworks from the golden age of Dutch painting. The Onion applauds your excellent taste. For more, keep checking theonion.com. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of the program. Of course, we have time for you. The phone lines are loaded up right now. You can still get in on Skype. Skype username is lrn.fm. If you do want to try calling in, uh, 855 450 free. But we've got a lot of people who want to talk on the immigration subject. Uh, it's a it's an issue that gets people riled up. Number one, because people don't really understand the issue. They don't really, uh, you know, they they just get emotional about it because they've been told they're going to take your jobs and all kinds of other things that are designed to whip people up into an emotional state and get them to not think about you know the economics of a lot of this. And there's one man who you definitely don't want to trust on his economic opinion, and that's Bernie Sanders. The guy is a socialist. He is an admitted socialist, and he is now also saying that the border should remain closed, that open borders is a right-wing plot, according to Bernie Sanders. So I think it's interesting that many of the people who call this show, who are also against open borders— Certainly wouldn't identify as socialists. —are now on the same side with Bernie right. Sanders. 855 450 freeze the toll free number. Let's go to see how many other Bernie Sanders supporters we have on the line. Uh, now, I don't know necessarily in advance until you, you know, speak because we, when we have a call screening process here, it's very, very slight. So, really, we only ask you in one word, what do you want to talk about? So, we don't know when somebody's calling in necessarily what exactly uh, they're going to say. A lot of talk show, a lot of talk show call screeners will. Make someone tell tell them exactly the words that are going to come out of their you've mouth. You've either got to agree with yeah. them um, if they want you to agree, or you've got to disagree with them and usually be dumb, um, <laughs> right? Like they don't they want they don't want somebody who disagrees and can make them look bad, right? Because all talk right. radio appears to be to me all about looking good for the host. All right, so let's go first. We got Ken. He's in Indy, listening to WIBC FM. Hello, Ken. You're on with Ian and Mark. Hi, fellas. How you doing? Hey, Ken. Go ahead, sir. Uh, uh, I understand that you're open borders supporters. Yes, we are freedom supporters. Is, yeah. My question is, where do you think equilibrium will be if, in fact, you get your wish and we have open borders? Yeah, I'd like to address that because I think that's probably the best question it's out good there. Question, is yeah. what happens? Um, really, the whole country is going to be overrun. And what I think would happen um, if if it didn't if uh, people didn't rush in super quickly um, is that you would have a situation where countries would have to uh, shape up or ship out very quickly, like the states of Mexico and many Central American states, and may, maybe you know places like Syria and many war torn places where people would get gone from very quickly. Um, they, these countries would have to provide significantly better customer service to their citizens um, or they would lose them, right? Like if you were king of some piece of land that was out in the middle of the desert where nobody lived, you would be king of crapola. And what I'm suggesting is, is that people that rule countries like to have people to rule. And what they need is, is they need pressure towards human freedom in order to Mm. be better rulers. So well, does that? If I'm, but didn't you just get done telling one of your other callers that governments aren't worth the crap at doing anything? Yeah, they generally aren't. No, what he's saying is that. they should be, get out of the way. 
So one thing governments can do is stop meddling in people's business. And what, Mark, you're saying yeah. is those other governments of the world, given that they know they're losing people to what would be this freer America where people could actually come here to make a better life for themselves, they would then, in theory, Mark, they would allow their people more freedoms so as to retain them in their country. That's what you were saying, right? That's not right. That doesn't require the government to do anything except leave people alone. Okay, so you expect the Iranians and the Mexicans and all of the other dictators out there to to leave their people alone. I still didn't get an answer to my question. Okay. What do you think the equilibrium is? We got 300 million people now. Do we level off at Four or five? Where do we level off? Well, I don't think that you get a number. Um, if you're talking about human freedom, this is one of the things that you don't get. You don't get static numbers. Um, if you'll take a look at, have you been through Montana or Wyoming? Sure. Okay, have you pushed the radio search button when you were on the road in Montana? Uh, I, sh I have indeed. Did you see it circle and circle and circle and never uh, land on a, a station? Yeah. That is an indication of just how open the United States is in places. Now, there are plenty of places where you see more. I mean, if you take a look at uh, metropolitan areas around the world, you'll see that places like New York, Chicagoland, and L.A., these are, uh, you know, the, the, these are a drop in the bucket compared to, um, uh, you know, other metropolitan areas. I think the U.S. is like 96%. I, I didn't, say we, could, I didn't say we couldn't handle more people. I asked you if you think there's an upper limit. I don't think there is. Um, I think that, you know, the, the world could live in the United States and they'd get, I think it was 10 acres. I, you shouldn't quote me on it, but they'd have quite a bit of uh, of space if the entire world lived in the U.S. And that's not if you I'm build not upwards. suggesting that, but I am saying that what that's going to do is put pressure on other governments to do better jobs. The United States government would, would receive less, less pressure because people would be coming in, so it would get more tyrannical over time, as it has been over the last couple of decades. And then... Other governments would get more free, um, and then you would see people moving there. There are currently plenty of places that are more free than the, than the United States. Well, I, like I said, I, 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 I'm, I think that you're wrong that, that the population wouldn't explode and be burgeoning out of control. And what does it even mean to be out of control? What does that what mean? Would what would that look like? What does population out of control look like to you? Uh, check, check out the channel. The channel. Check out the channel in Calais, Does anyone live there? France. That's that's out of control. There's 1,500 people fighting to get on to sneak onto the train to get to England every day. Okay, what that's does, out of control. Is England out of control? Because I mean, I'm not really concerned about the apparatus by which people get into the country. I'm much more concerned with: Are you talking about poop rolling in the streets? <laughs> are you talking about buildings on fire? Yeah, that's well, that that. If you get to some point, yes, we're not equipped to handle the, the type of growth I think you would get with open borders. And I, I don't. I think you're being unrealistic to pretend like the kings and the the mullahs and the people are going to the, the the leaders of other countries are going to get suddenly much more. It wouldn't be sudden. It would take some people. time. But also, immigration That's wouldn't right. be sudden and in the meantime, either. You get Millions and millions. It's fine. The market can handle it. You either believe that the market can handle uh, people coming there into it or not. There are houses sitting open all over the place in this country. I mean, the, with the economic downturn in real estate, there's plenty. If go go to East St. Louis. Go to Memphis. Go to Detroit. Detroit. You will see houses that are standing empty. You can buy a D Detroit house for a dollar. Thanks, Ken, for the call they tonight. I appreciate it. it. Yeah, they do. Look, dude, if you're going to be traveling from one country to another, you at the very least have to be able to afford to leave your country. That doesn't mean you have a whole lot of money, but it uh, means you at the very least have gotten to that point. And not everybody in the world is just ready to pick up and go. Even if you, okay, so if his concern is that people don't have enough money to, say, um, you know, live here or something like that, even if you require everybody to have $10,000 that moves to the United States. You're going to do a huge favor to people that want to work hard. They're going to save up $10,000 and send one hard worker from their family over there so that they can begin moving more and more people. Either way, nobody's going to call me and disagree the immigration system in this country isn't screwed up. I mean, nobody's going to say, oh, yeah, you know what? Our government bureaucrats have done a really good job putting together the immigration system. Well, they're not getting any pressure from United States citizens because they're the United States citizens are all like, well, I got mine. What do I care about an Im immigrant? What mm -hmm. do I, th All they are is a bunch of dirty brown people trying to come here and leech off of welfare. Well, you know, I mean, that's a crappy attitude. It's a really crappy attitude. And it doesn't speak at all to our immigrant heritage. 
So if there is any kind of scaling issue, because that was the concern there, uh, I think that Ken had that uh, you know the, the country, the U.S. wouldn't be able to scale up fast enough. The housing wouldn't be able to be built fast enough. The roads wouldn't be able to handle uh, all of the traffic that would be on it from this huge immigration boom. And really, that's a f- if that happens, it's a failure of government. It's a failure right. because government the- gets in the way of people who want to build houses, and the government takes care of the roads. If the, right. If, the, if, if what your concern is is there'll be too many cars on the road, who controls the roads? If your concern mm-hmm. is there'll be t- um, you know too much sewage, who controls the sewage? If your concern is there won't be enough water, who controls the water? Yep. All of your problems are government problems. Stop letting these shiftless, lazy Useless government bureaucrats. They're not. They're none of those things. They just get the wrong incentives. But these disincentivized government bureaucrats. Stop letting them run your life, and stop looking to them for solutions to problems that you perceive because they're going to disappoint you. Eight fifty five, four fifty free, and then you'll just end up less free. It's Free Talk Live. I'm Steve Sidkowski, a former Wall Street insider. I'm holding a book that will show you investing strategies which could help you earn the kind of money you've always dreamed about. And right now I'm giving this book away for free. So who needs to read it? If you're in the middle of your career and worry you'll never have enough money to retire, you need to read this book. If you're already retired and your income isn't enough, you need to read this book. And if you don't want to be selling burgers at 80, you need to read this free book. It includes the strategy I use to make a 72% profit on a trade where the stock only moved 12%. You'll need at least a million dollars to ever fully retire. If you're behind on that goal, you really need to read Trade Like the Pros. And you can for free by calling 1-800-944-5836. Skeptical that it will deliver results? It's a free book, so what do you have to lose? Find out how at 1-800-944-5836. 1-800-944-5836. Okay, honey, I have to ask, and be honest here. Have you been taking a little blue pill? Because things have been pretty good in the bedroom lately. No, I swear. You didn't pick anything up at the pharmacy last month in Cancun? No. Well, something's different. I have been taking that heart and body extract you bought me. But that's for your heart and to control your cholesterol. Well, I read HB extract also promotes healthy prostate function. I never guessed it would work this well, but... But you're glad it did. Oh, yeah. Heart and body extract is a 100% organic formula that promotes a strong heart, healthy arterial flow, better circulation, improves erectile and prostate gland function, and provides youthful energy, strength, and stamina. Find out more at heartandbodyextract.com. Heart and body extract paired with healthy heart choices is a winning combination. Call toll-free to order or for free information. 1-866-295-5305. 1-866-295-5305. Are you suffering with hearing loss? Are you sick of people constantly complaining that your TV is too loud? Are you tired of asking people to speak up? Would you like to hear more clearly, but you don't want to wear a hearing aid that makes you look old? Then you need to try Listen Clear, a life-changing breakthrough precisely designed by top audio engineers to fit your ear almost invisibly. And you can adjust Listen Clear to find the perfect way to hear everything, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And now we're extending our in-home trial to let you try Listen Clear risk-free for a full 45 days. With free shipping, we'll even give you free batteries for life. Call now, 1-800-956-9829. Listen Clear is lightweight and completely hassle-free, and it's practically invisible. Call for your extended 45-day in-home trial with free shipping and free batteries for life. For free information, call now. 1-800-956-9829. That's 1-800-956-9829. 1-800-956-9829. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. 
If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit StrategicShelters.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Hey, it is Free Talk Live. The live Saturday edition of the show. You can dial in toll free and join us here at 855 450 free, or you may connect with us on Skype at Skype username lrn.fm. With you tonight, Ian here and King Mark. Cell 411. It's a decentralized micro social network that allows users to manage, create, and respond to alerts and emergencies in real time. So let's say you are in a neighborhood watch, or maybe you're an activist or a medical worker. This is a perfect app for you. If you're a neighborhood watch person, you can actually use the app to send an alert that you are observing crime being committed. And then everybody else in your neighborhood watch, you can send that alert to them. They're going to get it show, them, uh, show up on their smartphones. It's going to show them that Mark is observing a crime being committed, and there is his, his location. He is that far away from you. Will you be able to help, Mark? And then the app allows you to respond or to not respond to that person's alert. And so when you do respond, Mark will be informed that so-and-so is responding. This thing works, and it works out of the box. I'm really impressed with Cell 411, especially for activist purposes. It's got things like cop blocking built right into it, where if you are engaging in cop blocking, which you can learn more about at copblock.org, you can send an alert about that, too. Now, your other friends also have to have the app, so go and get it over at the Android App Store, uh, or the Play Store as they call it, Cell 411, uh, C-E-L-L 411, and I think it's all of 99 cents, which is a great price. It supports the efforts of the Cell 411 programmers and supports the next update, which is going to make it even better. So whether you're pulled over by police, whether you need medical help, or even if your car breaks down, this can help you alert your chosen friends, and you can have different groups of them to what's going on in your life. And also, you can receive their alerts. So it's very cool. Cell 411, go check it out. I'm using it on my cell phone, by the way. Uh, let's go to and continue with your calls and thoughts. I believe we've got Scotty. He's in Georgia. You're on Free Talk Live. Scotty. Okay. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Sure. Okay. I want to talk about the immigration issue. Uh, well, I'm one of them hardliners. I mean hardliners. Hardliner, okay. Okay. Now, the government has screwed things up. Oh, yeah. But now, to get things straightened out, we probably going to have to go to a police state. Do you want that? As far as the borders. As far as the borders. Do you remember the Iron Curtain? Uh, I, yes. I mean, right. <laughs> it was always considered a bad thing when I was a kid, yeah. Yeah, it was a bad thing because they kept their people out and they kept the people from going in. Yeah. But it worked. Somebody yeah. said you can't stop the border. When you say it worked, do you mean it worked to, to help destroy communism? It I certainly mean, didn't help their economies. Uh, I, I'm not talking about whether it destroyed communism because there was other things that destroyed communism within themselves about the crooked government with themselves and so we should that's give, the thing so a hardliner okay. wants so to, to so a hardliner a hardliner wants to give over something as important as immigration to the crooked government is that what your claim is okay i'm saying let's do it let's just enforce the no, law no i don't want to do it rules. i don't want to okay. do it all right now I'm, I'm, let's, let's just come home we've heard this heard this guy say a few days a few minutes ago they're neighbors. All right. You live in a house. <laughs> yeah, right. You don't on. own my Hold house, on. dude. I don't know. Hold on. I live in a house, and I'm inviting all the Mexican people to come here to my house and work. No, 
I'm not saying. In <laughs> I know what it is. You live in a house. Do you want people to come in and eat your food? Now you're jumping to a conclusion, Mark. Maybe he's going to say something. Times. Maybe he's going to say something totally new. You don't know. Well, why do you have security cameras? Um, to keep out people that would harm me. Some of them government agents. Some of them government agents, but uh, how? Uh, how? Who? Who would be more likely to harm you? Um, I don't. The know. government agents. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, yeah, and, and the people that are roaming the streets that, are, as you said, have become tyrannical. Not only the government, but the people have. Now you're talking about what we was talking about, and I, this is the argument too. I know some people. I personally know some people. Some of my kin folks who have actually lost wages because whether they're, and I'm not going to say whether they're illegal or legal, but because that they've had immigrants yep. come in and cut them down. This now, happens. What, where they this Carpentry absolutely Street. happens, and I do not want to minimize this. Well, wait a second. I think it's really important. Let's address this for a second. You do realize that, for instance, uh, factory work outpriced the blacksmiths and the farriers and the candle stick makers, right? Yes, but, but they was more efficient. Well, <laughs> um, getting more paid, efficient. somebody so who pays, efficient. somebody now, who pays, has, now, who charges you less is more efficient than somebody who charges you more. Thanks, okay. Scotty, for the call, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And why shouldn't a business owner be able to choose the more efficient employee? Option? If you cannot outcompete somebody who can barely speak English, just cry about it. And start asking your government people to uh, do your dirty work. You need to find a different line of work if you can't compete against somebody who does not have a command of the language. All right, let's continue. We got AJ. High school students are taking your jobs. AJ is in uh, South Carolina. Go ahead. Thanks, y'all, for taking my call. What we do? Go ahead. A lot of callers waiting online. Um, But actually, I do agree with closing the borders, not forever, for a little while, because a lot of people don't understand. The economy is fine. The economy is perfectly fine. We got people to stinks. support the business owners. We've got people to support the business owners. We've got people to do the jobs. We are producing services. So, therefore, our economy is perfectly fine. Now, the amount of people who are employed is not. The reason being is because our school systems, our school systems have brought us up to work for other people rather than work for ourselves. As long as we're working for other people, we will never be successful. And that's the thing. I'm not saying close borders forever. Close them for the next, I don't know, I'm saying this. Years. So the close government the schools. Is, wait, 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 wait. So just to follow you here. So how many times have you seen the government increase the size of their operation, the scope of their bureaucracy, and then go back down? Oh, many times. Really? That is the... That is, uh, that, yeah, that isn't that isn't something that isn't something new because what they do is they try to find the most efficient way to produce. When the no, hell was the last government what the hell are you talking about? Hold when on, was just the a last second. time the government increased its size dramatically and then lowered it back oh, down? Oh no no oh, no 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 no! Uh, I'm sorry, I misunderstood what you said. I'm sorry so if I miscommunicated. Uh, it's always been. It's always been big government. Right, because what happens is government grows over time and then it doesn't shrink, does it? Yeah, no. So what makes but, you think they'll ever make this temporary? But the thing is, is that, well, we wouldn't be able to survive if it wasn't. Because if <laughs> yeah. we, you my, know that my, you're a small my, my government goal. guy trying to fix two government bureaucracies in a telephone call, right? Um, so <laughs> let's, let's just start here for a second. You close the government schools. They're the worst school in a given neighborhood, and we're, they're so bad we're forced to fund them. As long they're as we're never going to get any fantasy. better because they have no incentive for getting any better. They have zero incentive for making it so people learn to work on their own. Government government oh, wants people to point. work for it. AJ, stand by. Secondly, stand by. We'll bring you, you get the government out of uh, immigration, and you'll have better immigration. All right. There's more on the way here. Uh, I love both of those ideas. Unfortunately, the government will not be doing those things because they don't get smaller until they fail completely, it seems like, at least at the national level. Affordable health insurance was the promise of Obamacare. But for many, the government mandate caused more problems than it solved. And I want to tell you about a truly affordable alternative, Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare bypasses doctor and hospital panels, giving you the freedom to choose. 100% coverage up to $1 million per year per occurrence, which includes dental, vision, pharmacy, and holistic care. Call one 800 
today. Want to listen to your favorite GCN hosts and programs without a radio signal or internet? Just call 605-562-4213. Get instant access to all GCN live feeds right on your phone, anywhere you want, anytime you want. 605-562-4213. It's our way of ensuring everyone has the opportunity to enjoy GCN. 605-562-4213. The future of talk radio. GCN. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. So you've signed the Shire Society Declaration and are planning your move to New Hampshire to be around more liberty-oriented people. Next, sign up for the Shire Society Forum at forum.shiresociety.com. There are a bunch of people there who are already in the Shire, and they want to meet you. If you're already in the Shire physically, you should also come by the forums. Remember, not everyone uses Facebook. New people are signing up for the Shire Society Forum every month, so drop in and say hello at forum.shiresociety.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's a radio show where you can call in and bring up whatever you want, though the phones are hot and heavy on the immigration topic tonight, as it tends to happen with the immigration topic, because people get real upset about it. They think people are going to come steal their jobs, so they side with Bernie Sanders in trying to stop them. That's right, Bernie Sanders now coming out in favor of keeping closed borders, although Bernie is claiming that open borders, which we advocate here on Free Talk Live, is a right-wing plot. Even though that previously, when we've talked about open borders on Free Talk Live, we've been accused of being leftists. So I gotta say, that leaves me pretty confused. I don't think I'm either. This whole right-left thing doesn't really make much sense to me. Let's go to uh, back to AJ. He's in South Carolina. AJ, you say that you want to have a police state, but only temporarily, and you think that the government should ratchet that back after some time. What was, what was it, six months, six years? I forget what you said there. Well, no, no. 
it, it would take some time now. How long? It would take at least 50 years to get a generation trained to create businesses. The whole idea is to cut off the borders for now because we need those workers back. That's what's pushing our economy right now. And when you say and cut off the borders, realize, workers you, back, where are they going? They go back to their countries, send for themselves just for, just for, you know, okay. for now. But the thing is, mm-hmm. is that this isn't going to happen because a lot of the bigger companies are using these illegal immigrants or legal immigrants uh, that work for less to produce more service. You know that you're going to have to I – mean, these big companies also take their services, um, their, their manufacturing elsewhere because uh, wages are lower in other countries. And then are you going to are you going to also put up sort of a blockade for um, uh, you know goods and services – goods coming from other countries? See, that's, that's a, the thing is we need to cut off. Now, we need – we do need goods. We are, we are trading goods and services with other countries. Yeah. That is true. And that is what is also pushing this country. But my point is, is that we need to revise what's going on here, uh, and it all boils down really uh, to our school systems. And you want to? to it's not our school our systems. Those are their crappy school systems. I got nothing to do with them. I would never send my child to one of their government schools, and I would just ask them to leave me alone. We can talk about uh, education. That's a separate. But this issue, is but... really central to his um, his yeah. point. Is that okay. what he believes that in fifty years he can make government school systems better? In fifty years, they have gotten <laughs> worse, <laughs> right? <laughs> If only well, somebody would put him in charge. Government programs fail, and even if you were in charge of it, AJ, they'd fail too. That's the thing, is that we need to make school systems better, government school systems. Now, Here's this, how you make it better. You get the government out of it. I was the last, my, my last year of school. That's a good idea. Was, school, was, was it better? Guess what? I learned more in that year right. than I did my entire So why do you want to fix the damn government schools? Just forget about them, man. Stop, stop funding them. Stop sending your kids to them and opt out. Because if you do that, then they're going to spend the money somewhere else, not on. Not Why don't on the you just stop industry. funding them? Oh, so you 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 are certain that the government's going to continue to take the amount of money that it's going to continue to take? Absolutely. Why would they not? What? <laughs> Why would Apparently, they not? You absolutely. Think you could... If people who claim to be small government can claim that they're going to continue to send the same amount of money to the government, that's why they'll continue to take it. Well, I have stopped. Well, apparently, you know, you, you seem to understand that they're not going to stop doing what they're doing. And so obviously you also should understand that when you increase the police state, that they're not just going to roll that back. Those police agencies aren't going to, you know, say, all right, go ahead and take our powers away from us now. We've accomplished our goal. That just doesn't happen. That's just not how government works. And AJ, thank you for the call tonight. I appreciate it. It's just, you know, it's it's pure fantasy what he's talking about. Nothing there. is so permanent as a temporary government program. Milton Friedman. All right, 855-450 free. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. Dave is in New York. You can bring up anything you want here. Dave, go ahead. Hi guys. How you doing? Long time no talk. Oh, it's this Dave. Yeah. Hey Dave. What uh what do you want to share tonight? How has the world been harming you, Dave? I have something I have to say. Rebecca Hillgraves is a very bad person. Well, we don't know who that is, and that's an alleged uh, statement. Dave, without using people's real names and trying to drag people through the mud without them having a chance to respond, uh, why don't you just tell us what the issue is? Well, I was planning on, you know, using some, you know, bad foul language, but, you know, since this is an FCC broadcasted, blah, blah, blah. Thanks, Dave. Um, Go ahead. Uh, all right. Uh, I, she runs a show every Saturday afternoon on a site called stillstream.fm, and I have been recording her shows. I've also been recording your shows as well from Free Talk Live and other what talk shows. What does she shows, do? Whatever. Is she a music disc jockey, or what is her gig? Yeah, she's a uh, music disc jockey, and I completely hate her. Why? Because she won't play your requests? No, 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 no. Uh, because I kept on recording her shows, and I, I, I put them onto a site called Mixcloud, and yep. you know she found out about it, and then she went and reported me to Mixcloud. I oh. freaking hate her. Yeah, that's pretty bad. She shouldn't be snitching on you like that. It's a shame when. Uh, thanks for the call, Dave. It's a shame. Uh, I mean, I don't appreciate him, him being so angry, but I can understand the frustration. It's it sucks when somebody that you are a fan of, you know, turns against you. Like back when you remember when Metallica went after the file sharers back in the Napster days, like a decade or something ago, maybe more than a decade ago now. I think it was early aughts when that happened. Metallica looked real bad when they went after their fans. Now, no one really likes Dave, so I'm sure that they're 
there's no one really going to rally to his side on this. Uh, for those that are new to the show, Dave used to be a chronic caller to Free Talk Live, and he always calls complaining about somebody doing something awful to him that is a, a perceived wrong. In this case, uh, yeah, you know, that's not that's not cool. Like here on Free Talk Live, go ahead, record our clips. Put them on YouTube, put them on Mixcloud, put them on SoundCloud. We don't care. We don't believe in intellectual property. And a lot of times some of our listeners can make our show, you know, more entertaining by taking a clip out and then putting it up on a YouTube channel or something like that. Thank you for putting that work in. I don't have the time, nor do I want to make the time to, to do value. that kind of work. Yeah, so thank you. And, you know, it shows that they appreciate what you're doing because they're taking the time to do that, right? Like, you know, there's somebody out there that's made an Ian Googling and a Mark Googling, and now there's apparently like an Ian Shopping List uh Twitter channel account. on Twitter. Like, wow, what an honor to have somebody spending their precious time on building our brand for us. So I guess she doesn't understand that, whoever this disc jockey was. She doesn't really see things that way. And if she wants to get into a fight with Dave, well, good luck to her. Let's continue here, and we'll talk to Tom. He's in Lincoln, Nebraska. Tom, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, guys. I uh, have to confess I went to one of the Bernie rallies on Wednesday, and I'm going to uh, plead guilty and throw myself on the mercy of the court. I'm a Bernie supporter. Uh-oh. I feel like he's more honest yeah. than many of the politicians. Of course, he's an honest socialist. What do you like about him? Give me a point number one. What's the big attraction to Bernie Sanders? Well, uh, it seems to me the biggest problem we have is a class war. You know, the way uh, if you you know you read about Piketty's book and things like that, all the incomes going one way, and that's not a fair. You mean the class of the data. government class attacking the uh, the rest of us? I I see that. Uh, you, you're just you're just less of a socialist than Bernie. I'm not a socialist at all. I believe that uh, I believe in human freedom, and socialism is all about the state uh, controlling uh, state economics. ownership of means of production. Yeah. So you want to completely eliminate government? I'd like to the completely inter, inter, uh, eliminate the concept of the state. I believe once governments are no longer tied to land masses and they no longer claim a monopoly privilege over the use of violence, then that we will you know, have much greater human freedom. I think we're a ways from it, though. A ways from it? We've never had a, the kind of government. Absolutely. You're, you're right. Governments, the, the state is an evolution from the master-servant paradigm that has been around since the agrarian revolution, perhaps before that. Perhaps way – I mean, how are you going to stop me from running stop signs if you don't have any government? Well, um, I, you know, stopping so, you now. Who stops the cops from well, running stop signs? I see people run the stop sign outside of the studio all the time. And in most cases, yep. it's a smart thing to do because it so saves time and it saves your brakes. No, it's very dangerous. And if it happens, it depends on where you are, sir. It depends on the stop sign. If you are at a T junction, which is where we are, where one, you know, one way is going straight, the other way is sort of adjacent to it, is perpendicular to it, then the straight lane shouldn't have to stop. The perpendicular lane should uh, should have to stop. But that's, you know, in a fantasy world. I would say the answer to your question is, is that the road owner should figure out what happens if people don't stop. What happens if people don't stop at the stop sign at Walmart? They can't get a ticket for it, but they usually stop. All right. There's going to be more coming up here. Uh, Tom, if you want to stand by, I'll talk to you more about Bernie Sanders. You know, we've got a real-life Bernie Sanders supporter on here. There's a uh, lot of them. Yeah, He's popular right now. He's the first first one that's called the show in recent memory, though. Yeah. 855-450 Free is our toll-free number, and we'll bring your call on as well. You can bring up anything on Free Talk Live. More coming up. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water. And your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. 
AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress, Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival, LLC. .com. Keenvention is coming up October 30th through November 1st. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. Explore Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel from 2013 on. This year, Activist of the Year Daryl W. Perry and Chris Cantwell will be keynoting. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenevention this October 30th through November 1st. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or pay with Bitcoin. That includes access to the Hallow Keen Costume Dance Party. Reserve your tickets now at Keenevention.info. Visit Keenevention.info for more speaker announcements or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenevention.info. Keenevention.info. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. If you want to play online poker with Bitcoin, you need a site that's trustworthy and technically sound. The site managers of SWCPoker.eu have proven their commitment to bringing you great gameplay from a site you can trust, SWCPoker.eu. They have lots of new games too, including Chinese poker, and their Krill leaderboard is open right now. It's a beautiful site, easy to use with lots of players. Go on over to SWCPoker.eu now and have some fun with your Bitcoin, SWCPoker.eu. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. We're back. More Free Talk Live happening now, and we've got time for you. Plenty of it, actually. You can join us here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, we're going to get back to our, our Bernie Sanders supporter, who's actually on the line tonight. It was actually the Bernie Sanders we opened the show up with tonight. I am no fan of Bernie Sanders or socialism. I think socialism is a terrible idea, and I imagine a lot of our listeners would be nodding their heads in agreement because we're on a lot of conservative radio stations. And, of course, conservative talk show hosts have talked a lot of crap about socialists over the years, and I'm sure right, rightfully so. But the thing with conservatives is they won't admit where they actually support socialism, which, of course, is all over the place. You know, how many of these conservative politicians are uh, proposing the end of, let's say, Social Security or Medicare or whatever? All, there's so many different government wealth redistribution programs. The military is a socialist program. Yeah, the military is a, a huge uh, socialist program. So I'm against socialism, period. And I just think it's interesting old Bernie Sanders is supporting a border crackdown, basically, saying he supports closed borders. And so do a lot of conservatives that call this show. Politics makes for strange bedfellows, huh? You know, if you're taking a position that Bernie Sanders supports, you might want to take a second look at that issue. Not to say Bernie is wrong about everything. I think he's right about Ed Snowden. Like, at least from what I've heard, I heard a rumor that Bernie Sanders supports some sort of clemency for Snowden. So he's better on Snowden than some of the other politicians. But so far, that's the only thing I've heard about Bernie Sanders that I could possibly agree with. Uh, 
Anyway, let's continue on here. Uh, Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We'll go back to Tom. He is in Lincoln, Nebraska. Tom, you were giving us some reasons why you thought Bernie Sanders is somebody uh, uh, worth supporting. So go ahead. Give us another reason why you're excited about him. Well, the main thing is the class struggle, you know, the difference between the people who uh, need help and the people who are the take, so-called takers. And like, like the Koch brothers, you know, the people who have— uh, Well, the Koch brothers built their fortune by, you know, making products and services that, that people actually want. I mean, that's not taking. That's offering something in exchange for value. It's the government okay. guys that are taking things that, they don't, that don't belong to them. That's what governments do. That's what the state does. They take, take, take. Uh, and they never stop. Yeah, I was, I was under the mistaken impression that the Koch brothers made their fortune by choosing their parents well, like most rich. I thought people. they didn't they have, um, um, you know, like some paper business that they made. Oh, they they do own no. uh, Georgia Pacific. Well, tell you what, I'm doing okay. I'm comfortable, and I spent eight and a half years in prison. So tell me about the class struggle. Well, the class, you know, what we need is we need a society that distributes its. We need a well, society where hardworking people can make a good living. Well, what if you're disabled? What if you're sick? Indeed. What if those things occur? If you create a system where you just hand out money, you incentivize people talking about how they're disabled and how they're sick. Do you want that? Or do you want actual poor people who can't make a living to be able to get some help from people who voluntarily give it to them? But the, 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 there aren't enough volunteers. You know, how do you know? Stuff. You already yeah. are, you're already stealing 30% of people's money. How do you know there wouldn't be more volunteers? I give all kinds of money. <laughs> Uh, for the eight years you were in prison, how much did you give? Well, you know how much I gave when I was in prison. Thanks for the low blow. There, there, well, I'm sorry to be honest with you, but there— I just, didn't give anything while I was in prison. Well, that's the problem. You know, everybody says it's, they give a lot. The they problem isn't for the people that are in prison not giving enough for the— <laughs> <laughs> What kind of lunatic are you? Did you see Did you see how much Romney gave on his when he I released I could really care year? less what Romney did. Romney's okay. a government bureaucrat. All this is I'm, about is Democrats versus Republicans to you, and I got news for you. They're a bunch of stinking liars. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> let, me just, let, me just, let me just tell you that they're— Private giving does not and never has completely filled the gap. We yeah uh, we can't live without. We government. don't know what the gap is. Uh, we don't know what the gap is thanks. because we don't currently um, because they t the government will take and give to other people. We don't even know what the gap is. Well, here's the thing you're missing anyway, Tom. If uh, you didn't have the government stealing from people, then people would have more to give privately. And further, when you give money privately, it's more efficient because you're actually giving money to organizations that deserve it rather than the organizations the bureaucrats think are important. Thanks for the call tonight. So when people give privately to charity, you get to choose the charities that are receiving your donations. If a charity is not being efficient, if a charity is, let's say you look at their books or whatever, and they're spending 90% of the money they get in on their office staff and only 10% on the people they're supposed to be helping, you as a donor can say, whoa, I'm not going to be giving any money to you until you turn this around to 10% to your office staff and 90% to the people you're trying to help. And if you can't do it, well, I'll be giving it to this other organization over here because they give 30% to the office staff and 70% to... Yeah, you know, so you get to make that decision, which means the money given is allocated more efficiently, which means that private giving is probably, according to Dr. Mary Rohr, something like eight times uh, more efficient than government. So here's the difficulty. We, um, private charities give about 70% of their money to, um, you know, to, to the people they're trying to help and keep about 30% for operations. The government keeps about 70% for its operations. It gives about yeah. 30%. So if, you're, if your claim is, is that people are too greedy to give their money up. That's fine. But what you're doing is you're putting greedy people in charge of taking people's money to give it to other people. Not Bernie Sanders, Mark. He would never do something like that. Bernie He's... Sanders doesn't get to be in charge of welfare. <laughs> Let's continue. You can bring up what you want, and we're going to go to Dennis. He's in Indianapolis listening to WIBC. Hello, Dennis. Hey, how you doing, guys? Welcome. Hey, um, I just I just want to talk to you a little bit about immigration. A lot of people, I mean, I hear a lot of people talk about immigration. They really don't know what they're talking about. And I, I like to start off saying that uh, I, I've got to know a lot of Hispanics over the years, and uh, a lot of people don't realize the main problem over Mexico is the economy is so out of whack down there that the average person can only make three dollars, five dollars a day, make you know fifteen, twenty dollars a week, and it costs thirty dollars a week minimum to live. And mm. and uh, you know if I had a half a brain and I had 
strength, I would, and if I had a family and I want to get ahead in this world or this, uh, and, and there was no opportunities in Mexico, I'd cross the border too, guys. But Absolutely. a lot of people don't realize this. And, and, and I want to say that, uh, you know, I'm Italian Irish. Uh, all of our ancestors came over here from different countries. A lot of them came over illegally. A lot of them came over legally. In the 1800s, hell, they'd make you a citizen in a second. You join the yeah. Civil War and, and die, they'd make you a citizen in a second. All I you mean, have to do is show up uh, as Ellis Island, they mess your name up, bam, you're in. They keep you for yeah, three days to see if you got TB. Over, yeah, right. And and people don't realize that. And it takes so long to be a citizen. I know guys that have been here 30 years, and they just became a citizen, I think, after 25 years or more. It's not fair. A lot of the, the poor immigrants come over here, uh, a rich guy that has money, they'll make him a citizen right away if yep. he's the best in the economy. I don't know the, the different laws, but I've, I've heard about it. I've read about it. But um, a lot of people thousands. don't realize this. And, and and a lot of these immigrants are, they're you know, they're like our ancestors. When they came over here, they were hungry, man. They were, they wanted to get ahead. And yes, the Irish, the Italians, everybody, they live 10 people in a house, just like the Mexicans. But the Absolutely. Mexicans are getting the raw deal. They're getting dogged out. And there's so much bad controversy over the Mexicans. And in the Midwest, I mean, they profile them and and um, I own a business. I employ uh, a lot of them. They uh, a lot, or have over the years. They got to have a social security number. They get taxed. Um, you know, like you said, we should get a blue card. Uh, in my eyes, the government really they, you know, they won't come down and arrest me or or deport these guys. They want the money. They want the they want those taxes. Okay. And You're they right. won't mess with me because as long as I'm getting taxes taken out, guys, and and that's what it's all about is taxes. And I like to ask. A lot of people this question, or I don't know if you guys know this, but how much do, the, do all these Mexicans are Ill, or illegal uh, or whatever you want to call them, uh, immigrants come here, how much they contribute towards the economy and how much they take from the economy? A lot of people don't realize this, but if, they, if there's 100 people working off one Social Security number, at the end of the year, they're following tax. I mean, at the end of the year, only one person can follow taxes and get their money back. The yep. guys are illegal. They're not getting back taxes back in the year. Yep, and, and Mark, you made that point briefly dollars. earlier. This is a point that I never make on the air because nobody believes it. You cannot change. You cannot uh, say something right in the face of what people believe um, and expect them to believe it. But the fact is, is that illegal immigrants w and and you know, immigrants generally, and you know people of non-white origins, all of these, they're a net benefit to the economy over and over. There hasn't yet to be a study that I've been able to look at that says, oh, these people are not a net benefit. You're right on, Dennis. Thank they, you for the compassion. They buy, they buy everything. They buy. They get taxed on cell phones, gas, everything. They're contributing. Uh, I, I'm not for them going on the system or anything. Maybe, I, I, you know, uh, or but that's a problem a with the system, system, right? The system is the problem. Right. The fact that it even exists yeah. in the first place, that it's a government program. If it were private charity, again, then each charity could decide who they service, and each of the charity's contributors could decide who, you know, which charities are worthy of giving to. Your great call, Dennis. Thank sure. you for your compassion sure. tonight, man. I really hey, appreciate it. Go ahead. Make one more comment, Real fast. One more, fast. One more thing I was always say is, um, well, um, uh oh. Just choking. Oh, shit. I can't oh no, and then thought. you said that. Now we got to hit the dump button right at the end of the segment. <laughs> Sorry, <it>? man. <laughs> can't say the S word on the radio. All right, so we're going to come back with more Free Talk Live in moments. Hour number three is on the way. 855 450 free. We got room for you and your comments coming up. If worse comes to worst, Will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit StrategicShelters.com. This is Shaquille O'Neal. And the Shaquettes. Reminding you that anytime, anytime is a good time. Good time. For the cooling, drying, fresh scent of gold bond powder spray. Like after the gym. Or a crowded elevator ride. Or golf. Or working with farm animals. Or a hard day's work. Like sports casting. You said it, ladies. Stay cool with gold bond powder spray. Stay cool with gold bond. <laughs> This is your Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Daily Precious Metals Update. In early trading Friday, gold is up $10 at $1,099 per ounce. 
Silver is 28 cents higher at $14.95 per ounce. Bitcoin is trading at 284 US dollars. Roberts and Roberts also makes it easy to sell your gold and silver. To find out more, give me a call at 800-874-9760 or visit our online store at rrbi.co. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, August 1st, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.79 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,095 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $282. Antiwar.com reports while Turkey and the Kurdish PKK have been fighting an on-again, off-again war for some 30 years, both sides have been enjoying a period of relative calm two years into a ceasefire. That ceasefire ended Friday with Turkish airstrikes against the PKK in Iraq and has given way to more violence. The PKK is presenting this as a Turkish declaration of war and with Turkey launching several attacks in the week to follow, it's hard to disagree. President Erdogan has similarly dismissed the idea of the peace process resuming, saying the talks were impossible. So PKK forces, many of whom are in northern Iraq, are bracing for more strikes with a new round of serious unrest in the Kurdish areas around southeast Turkey, saying they view Turkey's new attacks as a betrayal against the Kurds in general. The PKK isn't simply waiting for Turkish strikes, either with PKK forces attacking a Turkish battalion in Sernak province, killing at least three soldiers. One of the PKK fighters was also reported killed in the fighting, and Turkish forces are conducting searches in the surrounding area trying to locate the rest. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports California Governor Jerry Brown on Friday declared a state of emergency as dangerously dry conditions and strong winds fueled the flames of a wildfire that so far burned nearly 20,000 acres in the Napa Valley. The Rocky Fire grew to 18,000 acres on Friday but is only about 5% contained. Friday morning, officials issued a mandatory evacuation for residents in Jerusalem Valley, which lies about 100 miles north of San Francisco. So far, nearly 700 residents have fled their homes since the fire started on Wednesday, spreading quickly because of wind gust and dehydrated vegetation amid the state's ongoing severe drought. Brown said in a statement Friday, California's severe drought and extreme weather have turned much of the state into a tinderbox. I declared a state of emergency based on the extreme drought that has persisted in the state for four years. Brown noted in the state of emergency declaration, by virtue of the number of fires burning simultaneously, the state's resources have been significantly committed such that the state will seek the assistance and resources of other states as necessary. The state of emergency will allow resources to be deployed to the fire-ravaged areas quicker and permit the assistance of the National Guard if officials need it. The Rocky Fire has so far destroyed three structures and several buildings, according to officials. More than 8,000 firefighters are working to extinguish the 18 different wildfires across California, and firefighters are worried that thunderstorms forecast for the weekend could ignite even more fires. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numerary supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. 
Reuters reports the governor's chief of staff said on Friday that Puerto Rico will miss a payment on debt due August 1st, an event that will be considered a default by investors as the Commonwealth lurches toward what could be one of the largest U.S. municipal debt restructurings in history. The missed payment will mark the first default by the Commonwealth and shows the depth of the island's economic and cash flow problems. Puerto Rico Governor Alejandro Garcia Padilla shocked investors in June when he said the island's debt totaled $72 billion was unpayable and required restructuring. According to a 2014 bond offering statement, Puerto Rico has never defaulted on the payment of principal or interest of debt. The island faces a number of debt payments due August 1st, but had signaled in recent weeks that it may miss the PFC payment. This non-payment would be the most notable since Detroit, which had about $8 billion of bonds, defaulted on $1.45 billion of insured pension bonds before it filed for bankruptcy in 2013. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. I just got off the phone with New York. We are the number one network in the world. And it is an honor to stand before you at such an exciting time. We're stretching boundaries that will irreparably alter people's perception of what they are willing to watch. And our next season will offer tantalizing programming that plays seamlessly into the desire of our viewers. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you just a taste of what ODS has to offer. You know the rules. Grow a pumpkin or go home. Here's the twist. Only one of you has the real pumpkin seeds. Are you a pumpkin or not? You call yourselves pumpkin growers? I know I didn't get the pumpkin seeds. I dug in there. They're bean sprouts. Starting the Pumpkin Alliance. Anyone grows a pumpkin, we split the money. Get out of my patch. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the third hour of the live Saturday edition of the program with you tonight. It's Ian. And King Mark. Phone lines are loaded up, and uh, you can join us here about whatever's on your mind. We've been discussing a lot about immigration, where uh, supposed small government conservatives apparently are aligned with Bernie Sanders. And Bernie Sanders uh, advocating for closed borders. How does that make you feel? given that uh, many of the people who would call about immigration probably would claim to not like Bernie Sanders. Maybe maybe there'll be some conservatives supporting Bernie Sanders here before you know it. Um, anyway, our position on this show is freedom. Freedom, baby. When it comes to travel, people who are peaceful should be able to cross whatever arbitrary uh, government boundaries that there are, especially to come into a supposedly free country. But there's also been a lot of other people calling about other things. So let's go into your calls and thoughts, because you can bring up anything. We'll start with Chris in Bozeman, Montana. Hey, Chris, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Ian, it's Chris Griffin, the program director on, on your affiliate up here. How hey, are dude, you? what's happening? Hey, and I'm sorry, I wanted to go through the listener experience of going through the line. First of all, as you were talking earlier about uh, Montana radio, yeah, if, if you're in Bozeman, it stops on 1450 <laughs> on the AM dial. Um, the other thing, and I'll go very quickly through this, regarding podcasting and taking people's material, um, I agree with Keith Richards. I spoke with Keith um, maybe five years ago, and he says, you know, nobody bootlegs crap, man. <laughs> so, well, we have to look at the kind of world we're going to leave for Keith Richards. Oh, you've seen the Internet meme. I love it. As well. <laughs> no, but it, it's absolutely true. But, you know, if somebody wants to take my material, um, as long as I'm given credit and they don't appropriate it as their own for any of my interviews or any of your conversations or anything that's broadcast on, on the station up here, um, you know, I think if you, as long as you uh, uh, give it proper credit, everything should be free to share. Um, uh, thirdly, Bernie Sanders. I'm uh, I, slow, I slow down, down on the Bernie Sanders, Bernie. Chris. Slow down. Let's let's talk a real little bit about sharing. I think that's a pretty good position to come from. That's a reasonable position to come from. That's Creative Commons, right? So you a, a fan of the Creative Commons license? Yeah. It, it, look, if you really dig what I've done and want to share it, whether it's on the internet or otherwise. 
as long as I'm giving credit as the creator, that is fair. That that that's fair game as far as I'm concerned. So I'm I'm with what you're saying and like generally, but I think one of the difficulties is of it is is I don't know who created the wheel, but I'm rolling around on four of them on the way home tonight, and I don't know whether it's Tharg or mm. Arg or um you know Blag oh. who, uh, <laughs> who created it, but he, he's Drew. not, or or whether or not it's a woman for that matter created the wheel, they're not getting credit. So at some point or another, this falls off a cliff. Well, they, well, ultimately, yes, but I mean, we know who painted the Mona Lisa. We, well, Shakespeare is even in debate, even until this day. Yeah, sure is. But I know, I know what I've created in a in, in interview in conversation, uh, such as yourselves. Um, you know, I can go in poll air, you know, air checks of interviews that I have done, and I know that I created that or caused my guests to say that. So, you know, please. I was going to say, I go, for, I go further the, than you. I mean, I respect where you're coming from. I think that's a much more reasonable position than people who believe in copyright and all that nonsense. Um, but I think that you know, the thing that I – where I'm coming from on this is, I guess, that I don't want to spend my time chasing down even somebody who's, you know, violating that agreement. If if I were coming from your perspective and like, well, I want everybody to give me credit – I got better things to do than to go after somebody who doesn't give me credit because by going after that person, filing some sort of lawsuit, it's only going to bring more attention to them. And so it's not – first of all, I'd rather spend my time making more radio than filing lawsuits. But secondly, filing that lawsuit is only going to raise their profile. They were probably just some you know, SoundCloud channel that nobody subscribed to. And now you know, with a lawsuit, now there might be news articles about their SoundCloud channel, and then all of a sudden they get uh, more attention. So in, in most cases, it's not even worth it to go after somebody who even breaks that rule or any other. What do you think? No, and I, I, I absolutely agree with you. Would I – Go to court over somebody who used an interview of mine that didn't properly credit me. No, I would just consider them completely unprofessional and right. pay them no attention. But and, and so that go, that goes away. But you know that you know when I send audio out to people I've done interviews with, that they request the audio. I say if you use this publicly. I've, I've recently done this with a U.S. senator who requested the audio of the conversation. I said, if you use this publicly, please just credit that it was interviewed by Chris Griffin. Perfectly reasonable. It's a reasonable position. Perfectly reasonable. I'm totally on board with that. And and if they don't, am I going to take them to court? And if it was anybody else, would I do that? No. I can only make that request because I think it's professional courtesy. Um, Bernie Sanders. Yes. Um, Bernie Sanders, um, I was living in Vermont when he was elected mayor of Burlington. I was living in Vermont when he was elected to Congress. I was not living in Vermont. Well, maybe I was, or I had just left after the election when he was elected senator. Bernie, um, Bernie personally is a very, very good human being. Yeah, I think so. Has, is well intentioned human being. Um, some of his political ideas, um, very populist. Um, oh, yeah. You know, he w- was tagged in his, uh, he's tagged still to this day as a socialist. Because that's what he ran on when he ran for the uh, the, the mayor of Burlington. Um, I don't think I, th- I think he's become a little more conservative. He's almost a, a left wing liberal now. Um, <laughs> but, but the, the road the to Bernie, hell is paved with good intentions, as they say. Ex- well, th- that's exactly where I'm going. Bernie has very very well intentioned ideas. That on a federal level, if he were elected president, would probably not work all that well. Finally, and you can guys can spout off on Bernie uh, uh, however you want. Finally, as far as Red Cross um, in, in volunteer organizations or where you make your donations to, to help people, the Red Cross is probably one of the worst a benefit to um, uh, institution uh, financing ratios of all international aid or agencies. But the Red Cross, if my home bone burns down and my neighborhood burns down, the Red Cross is going to be here. Um, yep. You know, if there's a typhoon on, in, in San Diego, uh, the Red Cross is going to be there. Um, they are, even though they have probably, in, I don't quote me because I think their return from donation is 70 30 somewhere in that neighborhood but don't quote me on that 70 percent being spent on what aid 
30 percent being that's typical that's fine level. that's pretty typical for private organizations and it's the reverse for governments where they spend 30 percent on aid a lot and of religious organizations of will um, get their operations from their home church and then be able to give more but you really can't expect that from a sectarian organization yeah i think you're absolutely right about the red cross it's chris griffin uh you're the morning host over there right on uh, kmms yeah i am and i'm terribly sorry to monopolize your time I'll, oh I'll you know what i love it i think it's so fun free talk live has more program directors as callers i think than any other syndicated radio we show whip you. them up <laughs> <laughs> well as i said I, as i said i wanted to go through the listener experience as to what it is to talk to you guys so oh, how was you know, it uh, was it easy um it, 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 no I, I was i was on hold for during the news break and uh, my engineer is optimizing uh, my you know the, the station website stream based on when i picked up when you guys picked me up and is trying to because we have some problems with our online stream you guys don't you're, that didn't you answer know. my question chris the question was was it easy when you called into the show you wanted to feel what the uh, listener experience was like i'm not asking oh, if it, it, if your if your studio's in good shape <laughs> <laughs> yes no um i i, I called in i got the, um, a, a gentleman answered said uh, what's your name my name is chris where are you calling from um bozeman montana um, what do you want to talk about, Montana radio? Boom, that's uh, it, right? Okay, yeah, that was it. And put on hold, stuck through the the bottom news. Suite, it is that easy to up. get on the air here on Free Talk Live, Chris. Thanks for the call, man. Appreciate the uh, intelligent thoughts tonight. Really couldn't disagree with much that he was saying. Nope. Uh, so. And, you know, Montana, good people out that way. Yeah, I hope that my uh, claim that uh, you can hit the uh, the scan button on your radio and not hit anything in Montana, that's just what happened to me. <laughs> you, know, like, you weren't driving through Bozeman at the time. No, I was yeah. on the road. Of, right. I was going, yeah. I could go 95 miles an hour out there back in the day. If you're in Bozeman, you can get us on uh, KMMS, and we'll continue here. If you're elsewhere, you can get our full affiliates list over at affiliates.freetalklive.com. More Free Talk Live coming up. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. In the U.S. alone, a home invasion occurs every 13 seconds. On top of that, the average response time for 911 is over 15 minutes. That just won't cut it. Don't allow yourself or the important people in your life to be victims. When seconds matter, don't be caught stumbling for your firearm. Get the protection you deserve. Get yourself a hidden holster from hiddenholster.com. It's the original hidden holster. The hidden holster is quick, easy, and convenient. It's versatile enough for the home, workplace, or virtually anywhere else you might need it. Have peace of mind with your firearm close by at all times. Go to hiddenholster.com. That's hiddenholster.com. If you own a firearm, you need a hidden holster. Your protection matters, and self-defense is the best defense. Go to HiddenHolster.com. That's HiddenHolster.com, the original Hidden Holster. Cato University is the Cato Institute's premier educational event of the year. It's being held this year from July the 26th to the 31st at the Cato Institute's state-of-the-art headquarters in Washington, D.C. This annual program brings together outstanding faculty and participants from across the country and often from around the globe, with everyone sharing a commitment to liberty and learning. Cato University is a genuine community, and you can freely share viewpoints, concerns, ideas, questions, and more in an atmosphere of friendship and personal respect. It's a one-of-a-kind program for people who don't stop thinking after they got out of school. It's for people who don't want politicians or bureaucrats or officials to do their thinking for them. It's for people who value liberty. You'll learn, you'll be inspired, 
You'll make new friends. You'll meet great people from around the world. All of the details are spelled out at the Cato website, cato.org, and they hope to see you there this summer, July the 26th through the 31st in Washington, D.C. Again, details are at cato.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'd rather keep their clients in the dark. There are too many lawyer jokes to count. However, there are some lawyers with more noble intentions. At the Institute for Justice, we bring the light to our clients. We are a nonprofit public interest law firm with clear values and principles. At IJ, we fight for those whose most basic rights are denied by the government. Visit our website today at ij.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Yeah! Hey, it's Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll free and bring up anything here. 855 450 free. Also, Skype in. Skype username is lrn.fm. With you tonight, it's Ian. And King Mark. We have ProXPN here as well. ProXPN.com slash FTL is where you can go to encrypt your internet connection. Right now, your own internet service provider is likely saving your surfing history, meaning they're copying down all the websites you visit, the search terms you enter. They may be keeping the that log information for several years in some cases. Uh, and also criminals trying to sniff your Wi-Fi packets. Pro XPN protects you from that prying and spying when you go and download their app for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Linux. You get the, uh, through the easy setup process, and you're protected. One account works for all of your devices. You don't need a separate account for each device. ProXPN.com slash FTL. And use our discount code FTL50 to save 50% off the regular monthly price. When you buy their annual account, again, code FTL50 breaks down the price to about, uh, to about $5 per month. And that premium account gives you unlimited bandwidth servers around the world that you can access. You can privately torrent, get past regionally blocked websites, and ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits. Get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL50 to get a great discount on privacy that is priceless. Let's continue. You can bring up what you want. We'll go next to Robbie, listening in Virginia to WLNI in Lynchburg. Hey, Rob, uh, Robbie, go ahead. Hey, guys. How you doing? It's my first time on Free Talk Live. So, Welcome, uh, sir. Thank you, guys for, thank you guys for having me. And, um, Thanks. Go ahead. I was just calling, I was just calling to bring up um, a lot of people, and as you guys were talking about tonight, a lot of uh, you know people who would characterize themselves as being you know very conservative, almost a libertarian, hardline folks, are you know sounding a lot like Bernie Sanders, and the reason I would say that is because there's a lot of people on you know when we talk about the rise of Donald Trump and the rise of the Bernie Sanders and stuff like that, that these people that they're not necessarily attracting people from the far right and the far left. There's this huge pot of populist voters who have been just sitting there for a long time. We saw a lot of it in 2008 with Barack Obama. People uh, came to. Perot, um, Perot uh, yeah, was Perot, a big one. Perot, yeah. big time. Perot was a big, a big one, and um, it, you know it goes all the way back to the late 1800s and the early 1900s, where you had um, the monopolies, um, you know, partnering up with the federal government and those things. And we have this huge lobbyist problem in this country, where you know both sides. If you look at the campaign donations for John McCain and Barack Obama in 2008, and also Mitt Romney in 2012, and Barack Obama in 2012, on both sides, Goldman Sachs is on top of the list. And UBS and all these other major banks are all on the top of the list. You have this major lobbyist problem, and both Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders, you know, Bernie Sanders with his policy talking about providing public funds for individuals to be able to run for office and that kind of thing, and then Trump coming out and talking about the system being broken in regards to the lobbyists. You know, there's just this big group of people who see that the system is stacked against them, and they're just looking, they're looking for hope. 
I think so, you're exactly right even, here is the more powerful the position, the more likely that somebody who's bought and paid for by big businesses and big banks is going to occupy it. Obviously. I'm, I'm 100% with it. And I also agree that these that both Trump and Sanders are populist candidates. They're essentially, you know, the uh, the, the Well, say what everyone wants to hear. The bear riding the unicycle, uh, juggling the bowling balls, right? Um, but here's my question for I'd you. i for that. And for, I would too. And for the populists out there is do you think that the majority or the, the, the majority of the U.S. populations even qualified to uh, to decide what uh, pos policy positions should be for the government? Um, well, that's a very interesting topic. And I would believe, you know, I'm, I'm personally, I believe that there should be a poll test. I don't think that people should be voting who have no idea of what the issues are. But the thing is, I don't think that a large portion of this populist vote is people who, at this point, who are polling. People who are paying attention are people who are not necessarily ignorant voters. They're people who see things that are going on in their daily life, just like the guy who called in earlier, talking about his family members who were cut down, you know, from immigrants and that kind of thing. And other people who, the other guy who called in from, it was either Indianapolis or whatever, talking about how he employs, um, you know, immigrants and those things. It's people who are paying attention. It's people who are um, informed. And I would mm -hmm. say that the vast majority of the country is not, a, you know, should not, um, you know, vote unless they have at least some sort of a, you know, a knowledge of what is going on. But I think that there are a lot of people that are paying attention and they're seeing people who are finally willing to stand up and say something, you know, and it's really kind of disheartening if you look and you're trying to find a candidate, someone to vote for, you know, it being an independent looking at both sides. And I mean, even, even Ted Cruz's wife is a major managing director for Goldman Sachs. I mean, what are you, <laughs> what are you supposed to do? I mean, here's what I would know, do if I were you McConnell vote for Vermin Congress. Supreme. <laughs> Vermin Supreme. Do you know who? Exactly. No, no, no. Do you know who Vermin Supreme yes, is? Yes, I, I really do know. I really do know who Vermin Supreme is. Yes. Yeah. I mean, who else can you vote for? He's I mean, the he's... guy with the rubber boot on his head. For those that don't know, and um, you know, frankly, I love his his uh, plank of uh, a free pony for every American, and I'm with him <laughs> on the fact that uh, toothbrushing should be mandatory. And who can who can argue with a man who supports zombie power? As he says, all politicians are vermin, but I am the vermin supreme. And it, what it really is, it's just a lampoon of how valueless your vote is <laughs> in the area of candidates. Um, you know, you know, you know as well as I do, your vote has never made a difference in a general election for the president of the United States. No, if you don't have a million to. dollars, your vote doesn't mean anything. It's your you vote still doesn't. Your million dollars, dollars might mean something, but your vote is uh, is not going to matter. It means it's, absolutely nothing. It's just like here in Virginia where we had. Ed Gillespie running against Mark Warner. Ed Gillespie was a you know a, a career lobbyist, and then they try to paint you know the Republican Party tries to paint him as the answer you know to the liberal um, takeover of Virginia you know as being a new Republican Senate candidate. And the sad thing is, is the amount of elderly people that I saw coming out to the vote that I had never seen before coming out to vote for Ed Gillespie and those things. And the thing is, is that they were voting for someone who was just you know it was just part of the problem. And and I know that What's you know, I new? understand that it's a system. Is, this is not something that we can fix, but just because it's, you know we make this argument, and I'm guilty of making this before, that since we can't fix the argument, then why have it? But you know, the the thing is with capitalism, and I know from talk, listening to you guys tonight, you guys, you know, free market capitalists and those things, and the invisible hand of the market cannot correct things as long as the government sits there and provides, you know, um, tax exempt tax exempts and those things to people and, and props the system up. Oh, absolutely. You know, the There's so many companies the that the government was, props up right. that should have gone out of business years ago, not just the banks, yeah. but automo automotive dealers. Robbie, great call. Really smart. Appreciate it, man. Sustainable energy is a really good um, one. People will try to comp compare, uh, you know, uh, solar panels and windmills to uh, oil. Well, you can't because the oil industry gets huge benefits from the government. There's no way to even quantify what they get as far as tax breaks and um, you know bonuses for looking for oil in given places and that sort of thing. You can't even see what competition looks like until you get the government out. All right, toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. We actually started the show out with a clip of Bernie Sanders and his opinions about closing borders and how he believes that open borders is a right-wing conspiracy, even though a bunch of people who would probably call themselves right-wing constantly call this show advocating for closed borders. So they're both on the same side of that issue. Uh, you can comment on that or anything that's on your mind, and if we get the chance, we'll play the remaining minute or so of, of his comments. Uh, 855-450-FREE. Of course, you can also bring up anything that you like. 
That's what we do here on Free Talk Live. And we do it live seven nights a week, 855-450-FREE or Skype in. You'll sound really good if you're on Skype. Skype username is LRN.FM. More Free Talk Live coming up on the live Saturday edition. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24 7. Call 800 261 0937. That's 800 261 0937. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Hi, I'm Daryl W. Perry, and I need your help to give away my newest book. Yes, you heard that right. I want to give away my newest book, A Rebel's Journey. The book describes my path to the ideas of liberty, which began as a search for traditional values. I will only give away the book if I reach my fundraising goal of $2,500. But wait, there's more! If you donate, not only can you get the ebook and the audiobook for free, but you can get bonus audio content, including interviews with Jeffrey Tucker, Lynn Albrecht, Ben Stone, Gardner Goldsmith, and Stephen Kinsella. Or you can get a signed copy of the paperback book and more. Your donation will serve to replace the profits I would have earned through a more traditional publication of the book. The funds raised will allow me to get the book into the hands of more people and to promote the book to a wider audience. To find out more about the book or to donate, visit arebelsjourney.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now, don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. <laughs> Welcome back. More of the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live is happening right now, and we've got time for you if you want to join us here. 855-453 is the number. Keenvention is coming up in just about two and well, two months away at this point. 
uh, tune, I guess three months, just about three months. Anyway, the end of October, October 30th through November 1st, it is a great excuse to come check out New Hampshire. We've talked a lot about the Free State Project and some of the activism and the activists that are up here, the wonderful stuff that goes on, uh, because we've actually got liberty-loving people joining the Free State Project, this, which is a movement of concentrating our activism in one geographic area. And people are moving here, and they're getting active in a variety of ways, some within the political system. Others are doing things like cop block. Uh, there's so many different types of activism happening here. I created Keenvention to focus in on New Hampshire liberty activists and what's happening up here. So people can learn from it, maybe take some ideas back to where they're from, or hopefully plan to make the move up here to New Hampshire and join us. There's some great things that happen in New Hampshire, great excuses to come up here and visit. There's the Porcupine Freedom Festival, which is a camping fest in the summertime that the Free State Project put, puts on. The Free State Project also puts on the Liberty Forum event, which happens in the winter. But there, there wasn't a fall event, and so we made Keenvention, and it's going to be happening for its third year this year. It's all of 60 bucks. To get in for the entire weekend. That gets you into the uh, the Halloween costume dance party as well as all of the Keenvention speeches and panel discussions. You cannot find a convention uh, for as, at that low of a price. I nope. mean, hotel conventions, you're usually, I mean, Liberty Forum is usually like 200 bucks or something That's like cheap. that. Uh, and then there's also, you know, the industry conventions that we go to where it's like 500 a ticket for one, you know, one or two days or something like that. And so go to keenvention.info. You can actually watch video footage, the entire panels and speeches from past year's Keenvention. So you can actually see what it was like uh, previously. It's an intimate event. There's maybe about 100 attendees each year. And so you really get to know people. You get to meet a lot of the activists that you just hear about or you'll hear call this show. Uh, so it's a really uh, unique flavor for an event that you don't really get up here at the bigger events like Liberty Forum and uh, Porkfest. I'm not saying don't go to those. They're great. We're there every year. Uh, but Keenvention, it's a different speed and it's a lot of fun. So go to Keenvention.info. That's Keenvention.info and lock your tickets in now for just $60 or Bitcoin for the entire weekend. Robin is in Pennsylvania. Uh, you are on the line with Free Talk Live. Hey, Robin. Hey, I'm at McDonald's, so if you hear a TV in the background, that's why. Um, okay. I, uh, I have traveled the last 20 years and have seen dramatic increases in Mexicans across the country, especially in the Southwest. Um, I, I really think the illegals should go back and get in line. I also think that the Jesuits the Catholic Church has a big hand in what's going on because most Mexicans are Catholic and they're bringing them into the country. Um, I feel that— You think this also, is a Catholic uh, conspiracy? Is that what you just said? Yes, I really feel that it's uh, got a lot to do with the Pope and the Catholic and the, and the Democratic Party. What about and, the Chinese people who are coming into the United States? They're pretty high I don't on the think they're coming illegal in list. As many as many of them. Not as many, but they're very, in. very high um, as far as the numbers. There's a lot of them, and it would be in. hard to build a fence as effective as the Pacific Ocean. I'd like to point that out. But too. is the are the Chinese people who are coming in? Are those like also a religious plot, or is it just well, the, the Chinese? I've, I've noticed are settling in the Washington D.C. area for one. Um, they are it's everywhere. Mostly California. But, uh, and I, know, I settle them. I see them settling everywhere, opening restaurants. Thank God for it too. Uh, I want to know more about this Catholic conspiracy. This is a new one. I got to say, we've talked yeah. about immigration a lot. Mark, we've talked about immigration a lot on this show, and usually it's they're taking our jobs and, you know, blah, You'll blah, blah. You'll hear the Catholics keep blame out. for everything. This is an old bigotry that has dies hard. I've just never heard this on the immigration well, issue. Can you tell me more about Catholic, this? Catholics are strict, and they do what the Pope tells them to do. And they have a lot of Mexicans and other Catholics in the United States the Pope will be able to control the United States. This was the argument against right? JFK taking the office of president. Did the Pope control JFK? Uh, I was a little girl back then. so. Well, I'll, I, uh, I think the answer is no. And most Catholics uh, are not I, controlled I, I, by the Pope. Don't answer for me. Be, uh, they should do I'm not answering Catholic. for you. I'm telling you historically what sort of occurred. Well, he was the first Catholic president. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah, and... Um, you know, there was a lot of. In fact, he got Kennedy got shot. Yeah. You know, um, so there may be a, a problem. There. Reagan got shot too. He wasn't Catholic. So did McKinley yeah, and uh, Lincoln. Is this? Garfield. I'm just curious. It, it, Robin, help 
clue me in here because I'm new to this Catholic conspiracy theory. Are you saying that the Pope has made a public edict for Mexicans to uh, come into the United States? Or are you saying that it's a secret sort of pronouncement that he's just sort of telling his bishops and then the bishops are telling the, uh, what do they call them, Vikers? I don't well, know what the heck they are. Thing, don't you think it's funny that a Spanish pope was chosen? This Not pope really. No. From South America that knows all the Spanish things that anybody could know. Uh, he probably is the closest one into Mexico that, that knows. He's, he can control these people. He can get through to these them. People. Wow. All right. all right. That's about all I got there. Thanks, Robin. Wow. Wow. Any Catholics out there uh, feel like commenting on that? Are you beholden to every word that the Pope utters from his pie hole? If the Pope tells you to jump off a bridge, are you going to go and do it? I mean, come on. This lady is ridiculous. Um, I got to say that there's – so um, is, is, if you want to see how much the Catholics adhere to the church teachings of the church, just ask how many of them use prophylactics of, or birth control or something like that. You'll see that Catholics, by and large, are using uh, birth control because, well, <laughs> that's what the incentives from the economy bring. So wait, is the Pope, sa- the Pope is saying do not use birth control? And that's what the church anyway. says. I don't know what the Pope says specifically. Hmm. Well, I would think the, that this pope be... has deviated from sort of uh, church uh, doctrine for for some time. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. Dan is listening in Florida, in Chattahoochee. Dan, you're on Free Talk Live, way down on the Chattahoochee. Well, well, thank you very much. Uh, it's easier to get in than I thought it would be. It's super easy. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, it it's, it's it's actually the hardest night to get in tonight. But uh, Free lot, Talk Live is the really? easiest show. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really easy in general to get on this show. We're on seven nights a week, as you may not, or as you may or may not know. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I uh, got a brief comment about Bernie. Uh, I'm a Republican, uh, very conservative, but uh, when it comes down to it, if depending on how the uh, Republican primary seems to be going at the time the deadline comes. I may switch to Democrat just to vote for Bernie. Why? Uh, so I get to vote against Hillary for uh, <laughs> twice. Now, here's my question. I got to admit, I don't really care about the federal presidential candidates. I don't just the only time I hear about who they are is when they come to Keene, New Hampshire, so I can go ambush them with a video camera. Half the time, I don't even know who. They are. There was some guy here this week I never even heard of before, and I couldn't go because I was working at the county fair. Uh, who else is running in the Democratic race? Is it Bernie Sanders and Hillary, and that's it? Because I've heard the Republicans have like 13 or 15 or something, 18. It might as well be it. I, I think I think the Republicans have got 17 now. Mm-hmm. I, I'm a real. I'm, I'm actually active in Ben Carson's campaign. Love the guy. He, he's he's the answer, but I. Don't give him an awful lot of chance. None of these people uh, are the answer. They're I'm just really power not interested seekers. in Ben well, Carson uh, telling well, me that i got to uh, vaccinate my kid. Him him and Bernie are the only two honest ones up there, in my opinion. Well, I bet you'll find out that's <laughs> but, not true about uh, about either of them as you start to learn more about them. But I, I, so, so neither of y'all have heard of any other Democratic candidates except for Vermin Supreme? No, oh, there's 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 another one. Uh, I can't remember his name now. He was governor of one of them little states up there in the northeast. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, but Dan, he, uh, thanks yeah, for sharing your thoughts, man. I do appreciate hearing from you. Our toll free number tonight to get you on the radio in a bunch of places. I got Martin O'Malley, Lincoln Chafee. Um, I've heard of that sec- that second name. I don't know who it is, but I don't know what heard to do of it. for you. A55 Jim Webb 450 free that's our toll free number it is the live saturday edition of free talk live more coming up here in moments i keep getting emails from run biden run and i'm really excited about that one <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, he's, you know, he's the funniest uh, vice president we've had since Dan Quayle. I actually had encounters with both the Hillary and Bernie supporters today at the fair. I'll talk about it coming up. If you could choose any school in the country to earn your college degree and be on your way to a better life, would you choose one the Wall Street Journal recognizes as producing some of the best qualified graduates? Or one the Princeton Review ranks as a leader in undergraduate education? Or maybe one the U.S. News & World Report names among the most innovative schools in the country? Now, you don't have to choose. At Arizona State University, we want to help you learn to thrive in life. 
At ASU Online, we offer over 100 graduate and undergraduate programs on your time and schedule. You receive the exact same curriculum, degree, and prestigious faculty as the on-campus students, and we're universally recognized as one of the innovators in online learning technologies. For information, call 1-800-595-9736. U.S. News & World Report ranked ASU in the top 10 best places to earn an online degree. So learn to thrive with ASU Online. Call today at 1-800-595-9736. That's 1-800-595-9736. Would you like to use your IRA funds to buy precious metals and hold them at home? Are you wary of the stock market, paper gold, or faraway depositories? With a checkbook IRA, you may legally take custody of IRA-owned gold and silver. Visit CheckbookIRA.com and learn how IRA owners in all 50 states have already taken control. CheckbookIRA.com. CheckbookIRA.com. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillett.com. Our digital freedom is under attack. Look no further than Ross Ulbricht's life sentence to see that. After all, it's not Ross's freedom they're after. It's yours. It is bigger than Ross and bigger than a website. I think one website is by far less dangerous than the government trampling on our rule of law. The appeal is underway, and we've organized a grassroots fundraiser at thecryptoshow.com backslash free Ross. Up for grabs is... Cody Wilson's Ghost Gunner, A Week in Costa Rica, My Magic Mud, Ghost Outside the Machine t-shirt. These prizes are really great. There's a ton more. So go to thecryptoshow.com slash free Ross. Please tell all your friends. Share it up. Our grassroots tactics allow for 100% of all funds raised to go directly to freeross.org. So check out thecryptoshow.com backslash free Ross. And don't forget freeross.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. We got a few moments left here. There's time for you. If you make the call now, you can join us here on the radio waves at 855-450 free. Joining you tonight, it's Ian. And King Mark. And you can join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features waiting for you there. If you like the show and you want to help support Free Talk Live, you can amp Free Talk Live over at amp.freetalklive.com. A-M-P as in amp dot free talk live dot com you get perks like access to the amp only call in lines amp only uh, podcast the amp only facebook group which is a really cool thing and you get it all for as little as five bucks a month and that helps us because we invest that money into the program to improve free talk live uh, and, and get on more radio stations uh, around the country expand our satellite listenership as well so go to amp amp dot free talk live dot com as we go to the phones and the fun johnny Listening to the Mike 92.1 WXXM in Madison. Hello. Go ahead, Johnny. Gentlemen, 
good evening. I just wanted to throw out this point. You know, I've lived here in Madison for 13 years. There is not a single commuter train here anywhere. There is not a single Amtrak passenger train that comes out of here to go to the West Coast. When balls of flame blow across the interstate highway in places like Southern California and the passenger cars explode into balls of flame, it suggests to me that we might be burning up the planet with our 20th century lifestyle. Slow down for a moment here. I got to say, I, I've been at the county fair all week here, so I don't know what's He's been the bearded going lady. on. I, I don't know what's been going on in the news. Has there been some sort of explosion of a, a passenger train in California? No, there'd be cars. No, I'm talking about the, the wildfires all over the country. And th this happened a couple of weeks ago when a wildfire uh, got out of control and they couldn't stop it. it What's that it, have to do with trains? Okay, this is jumping issues. Uh, well, like I, wildfires. I think, we, I think we should get rid of the cars. That's a 20th century lifestyle. And we're 15 years into the 21st century. You want to go That's back to trains? Point. Yeah, I want a system of commuter trains and <laughs> commuter rail lines. In Denver, Colorado, they build an airport that's 47 miles from downtown Denver, and they didn't even have build a commuter rail line to take people from the airport to downtown Denver. You know, what, what uh, here's what my thought on commuter rail is, is that in Japan, commuter rail does very well. And it's privatized. Um, cause subways did just fine establishing them as themselves in New York City without being owned by the government. Originally. Am Amtrak right. services, uh, the, Amtrak, the Amtrak station is significantly closer to my home than the airport is, but it costs me like 10 times as much to get down to, say, Florida on Amtrak than it does, um, you know, using the airlines. The fact is, is this is an outdated model, and Amtrak's run by the government, so you know it's a, a catastrophe anyway. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you, but if these things were profitable, somebody would go and do it. Well, the idea is not, not not to make a profit. The idea is to have a planet to continue to live on. I think that you're probably right, but I, I think you might, you know, I mean, that's his like, idea. I think that rail, railroads certainly produce less carbon than, um, you know, cars or something like that. But don't you think that they can provide a more tailored traveling experience like cars do um, and still save on carbon credits? I mean, do we really have to go back to 18th century forms of travel? 17, well, I don't, uh, 19, consider, I don't consider high speed rail a, you know, an 18th century form of it, travel. It, it, government it's owned rail, go, go, government trains. owned rail fails wherever it is run. Uh, I, I don't buy that. There's 14,000 miles of high speed rail around the world, yeah, and none of there it is. is in the United States. Well, I say save none your money it. and start building. Thanks for the call, Johnny. But he's already said that it doesn't have anything to do with profit. He, he knows it's going to be catastrophic. That's why he wants the government to run it. Hmm. Good point. Let's go to Roger, listening in Mobile, the WABH FM. Hey, Roger. Yes, uh, I got two questions that come to mind. Uh, All right. One, uh, one is uh, the red states turning to blue. My uh, my idea would be to have E verify and and to build a wall. Oh boy! But, and and uh, the second uh, second thing I'd like to address. So hold on, let's what? start with number one here. Hang on, yes, you want to build a wall? No, no, E verify is number one, which means a whole bunch of government paperwork for small businesses that they don't get paid to fill out. What other form of slavery do you like for small businesses? Well, someone's going to have to pay the piper for all this that's going on, you know, and I, I think it's all of us, really. Uh, all of us have won't to. have to pay for the government paperwork that's filled out, just businesses. Well, it's just my idea. I mean, uh, but... Uh, Let's talk about the wall. Really I want to talk about the wall before you go on with whatever your second point was going to be. So you want to build a wall. Let me make sure I'm clear on where. You want to build a wall along the north and southern border, right? No, not the northern border, just the southern border. Uh, whoa, the whoa, is. whoa. Why is that? I thought there was a problem with immigration. From the south. Are you telling me you don't think that uh, there's Canadians coming here taking your jobs? I've actually helped employ an illegal Canadian immigrant. 
Well, we're talking about illegal uh, immigration. No, no, this was an illegal Canadian immigrant. I have helped, what makes I helped you him think, get a job. Sir, what makes you think a Canadian is less likely uh, to be, or excuse me, more likely to be legal than someone from Mexico? Well, their lifestyle up there is much better than it is uh, in Mexico. Have you been to Mexico? I have. Have you been to Canada? I have. Okay. So I don't be- know why you asked because those kind of their questions. lifestyle is, in your opinion, better in Canada. That means there are people who are less likely to, uh, to you know, to jump th- to excuse me, avoid the government paperwork. It just sounds just like racism to me. Problem. It just sounds like you're a bigot. Right. I think that's I think that's really what the issue is. Uh, Ian, I think your questions were terrible, but let me ask you this: uh, What's the caller's name? Uh, well, maybe he hadn't been to those places. It's Roger. Roger. Um, do you think that the, I think your crown's terrible? Do you think the Republican Party is marginalizing the Latino vote, which is growing and going to continue to grow by proposing to simply put a, a fence along the southern border as opposed to the northern border? Do you think that looks racist? Yeah, it depends on a per- each and every person's heart where they're coming from. I'm not racist at all. It's just no mm. country in the world can sustain. Uh, People running across their border will be nilly. You get people from uh, that want to bomb us and hurt us and everything. You just can't let uh, you. those people How are in Washington D.C. How many people have moved across the border that have bombed you? One. Tell me one of them. Well, it hasn't happened yet. Yes, absolutely. And it's the United States' foreign policy that might allow the first one to do it. Not immigration policy, their foreign policy. Get the hell out of the Middle East and stop messing with people's lives and dropping bombs off remote control airplanes and blowing up people's kids, and you won't have to worry about anybody sneaking across the border. Thank you, Roger, for the call. Let's go to Keith. He's in also in Mobile. Go ahead, Keith. Hey, this is the first time I've heard this show, but I'm just kind of curious. Do you think we shouldn't have borders? No well, laws. You should, should have just, borders on your own you private property. Really for everybody. Okay. You, you should have borders on your private property, Keith. So this country shouldn't have borders. Well, yeah, I, I think, think there's a difference between a, I think there's a difference between a border and a border fence. Right. Like, I mean, you can see that there are many, many countries in the world that have borders that they don't have a huge apparatus out there protecting it. But the whole world wants to go to those countries, right? I, I think Netherlands. Yeah, people want to go there. It's pretty nice. Oh, okay. I have not seen. I have not seen a mass exodus of twenty million people. They don't have. They don't country. have people that can walk to uh, Netherlands. Um, you know, right. that might be an issue. That's the point. They exactly. They don't need a wall. Okay. They don't need border protection. Yeah, but uh, look, I, I'm really Why not interested you in your walk to Gunnersville, Mark. I just want to know. I just want to know your opinion. I get on the radio. I, I get in my car, turn my radio my on. My opinion's very clear. I believe free people should be able to cross the borders of free countries freely, or you don't have free people and you don't have free countries. I don't think that anybody should be wow. obligated to pay for the. Um, well, can, can you rebut the statement, or are you just going to say wow? Yeah, that. That's absolutely ridiculous. Then how are you going to have a free country if you're going to tell somebody they can't, heard in my life. they can't have the freedom to travel? I can travel to any country I want to. I He's got leave. his government you, you papers. Got, I've got my freedom. You can't have yours. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I've got <laughs> government papers. No. I can travel. I can't travel to Canada. Do you really want to, though? I've been yeah, there. I'd love to. It's only, it's only three <laughs> miles. It's only three hours yeah, away. Canadian dude. folks have been very nice when I was allowed to travel to Canada. They were always very nice. Keith, you should call right, us another night, man. Point. We are super short on time. I wish we had more time uh, to talk to you about this, but that. please. Well, right. of course you figured that because it's the end of the show. Thank you for the call tonight. <laughs> Uh, but we do other shows seven nights a week. Seven nights a week. Yeah. And we'll, tomorrow, we'll still disagree with your immigration uh, bullcrap. By the way, I don't agree with the Hillary supporters or the Bernie supporters, but the Hillary supporters were a lot more interested in Bitcoin today, and the Bernie supporters that I encountered at the fair were just nasty. They love themselves some fiat currency. All right. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. Online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Have a great weekend. It's The Onion Radio News. God loses his decision-making coin. This is Doyle Redland reporting. The Lord God has confirmed that he has misplaced his special decision-making coin. The coin, a relatively unremarkable 1972 nickel, has been used almost daily by the Supreme Being for over four billion years for the purpose of determining everything from the direction of the wind to the outcome of history. 
The visibly distraught God added, I have no idea where I put it. I remember flipping it last night for a couple in Monroe, Michigan, who were trying to conceive a child, but I haven't seen it since. God also said he hopes to locate the coin before 7.15 Thursday morning when United Flight 251 takes off from Seattle with actress Dixie Carter on board. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Pure Life Water, helping you drink better and live better by providing a zero-calorie alternative to sugary drinks. Visit us at nestle-purelife.us. When kids are playing, they often don't want to stop to keep hydrated, so send them out with a bottle of water and encourage them to take frequent drink breaks or call them inside for a quick sip. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, August 1st, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.79 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,095 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $282. Antiwar.com reports while Turkey and the Kurdish PKK have been fighting an on-again, off-again war for some 30 years, both sides have been enjoying a period of relative calm two years into a ceasefire. That ceasefire ended Friday with Turkish airstrikes against the PKK in Iraq and has given way to more violence. The PKK is presenting this as a Turkish declaration of war and with Turkey launching several attacks in the week to follow, it's hard to disagree. President Erdogan has similarly dismissed the idea of the peace process resuming, saying the talks were impossible. So PKK forces, many of whom are in northern Iraq, are bracing for more strikes, with a new round of serious unrest in the Kurdish areas around southeast Turkey, saying they view Turkey's new attacks as a betrayal against the Kurds in general. The PKK isn't simply waiting for Turkish strikes, either with PKK forces attacking a Turkish battalion in Sernak province, killing at least three soldiers. One of the PKK fighters was also reported killed in the fighting, and Turkish forces are conducting searches in the surrounding area trying to locate the rest. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports California Governor Jerry Brown on Friday declared a state of emergency as dangerously dry conditions and strong winds fuel the flames of a wildfire that so far burned nearly 20,000 acres in the Napa Valley. The Rocky Fire grew to 18,000 acres on Friday but is only about 5% contained. Friday morning, officials issued a mandatory evacuation for residents in Jerusalem Valley, which lies about 100 miles north of San Francisco. So far, nearly 700 residents have fled their homes since the fire started on Wednesday, spreading quickly because of wind gust and dehydrated vegetation amid the state's ongoing severe drought. Brown said in a statement Friday, California's severe drought and extreme weather have turned much of the state into a tinderbox. I declared a state of emergency based on the extreme drought that has persisted in the state for four years. Brown noted in the state of emergency declaration, by virtue of the number of fires burning simultaneously, the state's resources have been significantly committed such that the state will 
seek the assistance and resources of other states as necessary. The state of emergency will allow resources to be deployed to the fire-ravaged areas quicker and permit the assistance of the National Guard if officials need it. The Rocky Fire has so far destroyed three structures and several buildings, according to officials. More than 8,000 firefighters are working to extinguish the 18 different wildfires across California, and firefighters are worried that thunderstorms forecast for the weekend could ignite even more fires. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numeri supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. Reuters reports the governor's chief of staff said on Friday that Puerto Rico will miss a payment on debt due August 1st, an event that will be considered a default by investors as the Commonwealth lurches toward what could be one of the largest U.S. municipal debt restructurings in history. The missed payment will mark the first default by the Commonwealth and shows the depth of the island's economic and cash flow problems. Puerto Rico Governor Alejandro Garcia Padilla shocked investors in June when he said the island's debt totaled $72 billion was unpayable and required restructuring. According to a 2014 bond offering statement, Puerto Rico has never defaulted on the payment of principal or interest of debt. The island faces a number of debt payments due August 1st, but had signaled in recent weeks that it may miss the PFC payment. This non-payment would be the most notable since Detroit, which had about $8 billion of bonds, defaulted on $1.45 billion of insured pension bonds before it filed for bankruptcy in 2013. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. In a survey, nearly 100% of boys ages 12 to 15 report that they have sex all the time and are definitely not virgins. Teens say they've gone all the way on numerous occasions, including vaginal sex, oral sex, and regular sex orgies. Previous studies suggested that most boys lose their virginity at 16 or 17, but when we gathered 13-year-olds in a room and asked them if they'd had sex, they not only said yes, but they also were clear that sex was no big deal for them, that they weren't nervous before having it, and that when they do have sex, they do it for hours at a time. And you discovered that these young teenagers have sex with nearly every attractive woman they know, including their babysitters, teachers, and even Hollywood celebrities. 10% of boys in junior high school say they received a blowjob from Katy Perry while they were on vacation in Los Angeles. And what about teenage girls? Did your study find out anything new about their sexual habits? We didn't talk to any teenage girls. The boys we surveyed told us not to because they'd probably just lie and deny it. This is the Onion News Network.